My bad. I pressed the button by mistake. I'm fucking so I'm fucking so upset, bro. Like I said, I'm sorry about that, guys. This is what I was saying. That I'm looking for my fucking wheel. I go to the store. First of all, I decide to smoke me a blunt. I go. I get the weed. I come back home. I'm about to do this. It's like about 1130. No, I said, yeah, about 1130. I'm looking. Grab the weed. Got it ready. Guess what? No fucking white out. No Philly. No bamboo. No nothing. You feel me? Nothing. Now I got to go to the store. Go to the store. Pick up three Phillies. I'm coming to the house. I'm going to roll up. And I'm going to chill. I'm going to get on and chill for about a half an hour or whatever the fuck. Now I can't find the weed. I can't find the weed. And you know what the fucked up part about it is? That I can't get mad. I can't get mad because that's the way life is. Life sometimes likes to play little games with you. And when you get angry, what happens? You take it on your people. You take it on your loved ones. Take it on your wife, your kids. Oh, I don't want to be bothered. I'm looking for my shit. But you see, me, I already know how this fucking apartment works. Some kind of mysterious fucking whatever you want to fucking call it. It always does this to me. But whatever it is, whatever it is, it's the flingo, flango, wingo, wango, whatever the fuck is going on. And you know what I'm saying? It could suck my dick. I'm not going to get angry. So what's up, people? How are my brothers and sisters doing? I hope everything is okay. I hope everything is lovely. I hope you guys are doing better than me right now. I'm going a little crazy. Just thinking a little bit about the weed. Like, I know the motherfucker was there. You know, let me tell you, man. I believe... I believe you guys know I believe in a lot of shit, man. I, I do believe there's something in this motherfucking apartment that likes to fuck around. That likes to see people get mad. I mean, me and my wife could be chilling. We could be laughing, bugging the fuck out, who he, who I. Next thing you know, some fucking bullshit winds up coming and fucking it up. And small things like this, you know, going around, look, and I'm, and I'm, I'm baby, you know something? Look what I'm, you know what I'm thinking about? <laughs> Being honest with you, I really don't know what the fuck I'm thinking about. Because... I'm going to keep it right there. You sure it's not in the, by, by the, by the game, by the game, sweetheart, check in the game. I mean, check through the, through the fucking game. I mean, come on, man. I remember taking the motherfucker sweetheart and I folded it because it was like a big bag. I folded and, and, and I, and I, and I, and I, and I you know, I fold together. I don't know, man, but I'm not going to let that shit bother me, man. You know, I'm not going to let that bother me because, you know, I'm bigger than that. So what I'm gonna do right now is you found it? You see what I'm saying? Where was it at? Yes, ma'am. Where was it at? In the fucking bed, right? You see what I'm saying? Right in the bed. Right in the fucking bed. But wifey found it right on the fucking bed. You see, but you know what it is? It's the motherfucking devil, bro. Is that motherfucker that just want wants you miserable, wants you angry, he wants you to fucking Pass out and and no, I'm, it's not gonna happen, bro. It's not gonna fucking happen. Nobody make me do this. Nobody. I do it when I feel like when I get upset. You feel me? I'm not gonna get upset over some bullshit weed. I misplaced the weed. I'm gonna get upset, get angry at wifey and curse the fucking apartment, fucking apartment, fucking house. Ah, no, I'm not gonna do that. I refuse to do that. This is K Solo, man. This is K Solo. I'm the motherfucking son of God. You feeling me? I'm the fucking son of God. I'm one of his favorite. Trust me. All right? So what's up out there in New York City? Yes, it's a beautiful day today. I got to say it was gorgeous. But tomorrow, we got another different story, bro. Tomorrow, I believe there's going to be a little rain or a lot of rain. What is this, sweetheart? Huh? What do you mean? You know, you were the one that told me it was going to rain. So what do you think? It's going to be a lot or small? 
All right, wife, you think it's going to be half and half. I think it's going to rain like a motherfucker. You feel I me? Mean? I think it's going to rain like a motherfucker. You know why? Because in the month, they supposed to, you know, April, April supposed to be the month of the rain, April showers and shit. But deep down inside, it's not fucking April. I always said it was May. May rains a lot. May May for me is the, is the wettest month of the mall. You feel I me? Mean? So, no, not April. And then in the middle of May, this is what I like about May, like, like the, about the middle of May, that's when you could go out there and put on your motherfucking shorts, put on your little ankle socks with your sandals on, you know what I'm saying? Little Miami bites looking like type of shit. You feel me? I mean, I mean, I mean, you know, don't, I love, I, don't get me wrong. I love the winter because the winter is something that, you know, the breeze, the cool breeze and all that. And I like to sleep in the cool breeze. I like to sleep cold. But the summertime, man, that's the time of the weather, man, that you like to take walks. I mean, if I was living like Colorado, uh, um, um, how you call this shit? El Paso, Texas, um, um, Las Vegas. Those places got mountains and shit like that. I would, I would like, I would do a lot of walking around, man. I swear to God, or I probably would buy me one of those AT, how you call them, ATVs, the the, the four wheeler jammies, those four wheeler jammies that you can ride all over the dirt. I probably would have got me one of those shits over there and just parlay and go in the fucking mountains and just stay there for two, three hours once it starts getting dark because just like it's hot, it's fucking colder in the dark, all right? So, yes. Yes, man. So, yeah, that's what I've been doing, man. I mean, you know, what the hell? You know, what the hell? But, unfortunately, I can't do that. I live in New York City. I love New York. Yes, I do. But sometimes New York, man, it's like, it's, it's sometimes it's stressful in New York, man. It really is. It really is. Mm. The people in New York is beautiful. Fucking, they, they fucking outrageous. You feel I me? Mean? Beautiful people. But just like they beautiful, New York could also be very unkind. And let me tell you, you don't want the, you don't want to see the unkind New York. It's, it's very, very toxic. I'm telling you, like, it's like something from a, from a fucking Wi-Fi movie, bro. It's crazy. It's, 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 it's a whole new phenomenon itself. I mean, you know, you will see shit that whoever never been in New York, I mean, New York and shit like that, especially from the Bronx, Brooklyn and Queens, you guys will fucking go crazy. I was I was raised I was raised in the Bronx. I was raised to this motherfucking toxic because the Bronx is toxic. Well, you know something? No, the Bronx is a lot better now. Now let me let me rephrase that. The Bronx is a lot better now. But the Bronx in the 70s and 60s, late 50s, very fucking toxic. I very fucking toxic. Listen to me. Toxic, okay? I mean, people just sleep in the fucking car because of the summertime and never wake up. I'm swear to God. People just go to other people's car like their friend's car. Yo, let me sleep here. You know, if they had a problem with their wives or whatever the fuck it is, they sleep in their man's car. Boom, next day, they think motherfuckers don't wake up. Motherfuckers don't wake up, bro. That's crazy. You know, let me tell you, man, I love New York. I love New York, but New York could get fucking crazy. It could get crazy, man. Uh, but that's the New York that we love, right? You know what I'm saying? What can I say? Hey, yo, listen, man, uh, I want to give a little shout out, man. Once again, I was on his show earlier. I want to give just a, a little shout out to Mario. Mario, God bless you, man. Mavio doing his thing. Um, he almost got that one thousand. You know, saying guys, let's 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 do the right thing, man. Let's do the right thing. And um, if you guys think subscribe to Mavio, and you guys, what can I say? Black, Spanish, white. But if you guys are from the hood, I'm talking about from the hood. Sign for that man. Give a little sign, like you know. Subscribe or or, or 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 hit a like. It's not gonna cost you any money. You know what I'm saying? It's not gonna cost you any money. 
Even my show. Even my show. What's in the blue moon? If you're not a subscriber, hit it, put a little like there. Even if you don't like my shit, it doesn't hurt, man, to hit that little that little like button. You know? Just think about it like this. You're doing the good deed. You're doing the good deed of the day. All right? For those that believe, man, like me. <laughs> you feel just like me. Yo, back talking about this, man. Um, is it me, bro? Is it me? Or is it people out there as I'm talking about the people out there right now? Is it me? But are the people out there wearing less mask? I swear to God, I don't know, man. But I, I, I when I do go outside with my mask, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes I got that um how you say it? I got that like like that two max shit that you put on, it's like one, and then you put another one, but I I, I found a place that is sewn up. And it's already made, and but it's two masks. You know what I'm saying? There are people out there that's not even using the mask anymore. I've been seeing people out there mingling without the fucking mask. I mean, just because you took the shot doesn't mean jack shit. So please, people, keep wearing that mask, okay? I mean, give, you know, I understand you guys are, are, are very happy for, for getting the shot and beautiful, but be a little bit more careful. Be a little bit more careful, guys. You guys must be wondering what the fuck I'm drinking. This is a fruit punch, right? It has orange, strawberry, lemon, um, strawberry, lemon, cherries. Uh, well, that's about it. Cherries, um, lemon, or oh, pineapple. It got passion. Uh, for those that know what's passion, that's pacha. One of the best. Oh, God. I could, open, I could open that fruit up and just eat it. Just eat the seeds and everything. Bang it. And it's good for the high blood pressure. Definitely good for the high blood pressure. Hold up. Hold up, guys. I got to. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. Hold up. This shit tastes good. Ooh. Fucked up my tooth. I had a, I have a little hole in my tooth and shit. And I bought this um this uh it's like a little it's like a little small thing like this. And it's for the tooth. It's like a cement. Yes, sir, my brother. Oh, oh all right, all right, all right, hold on, hold on. You know something? I mean, uh, yo, I'm like, I'm like into my shit right now. <laughs> hold on. <laughs> all right, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'll do that, I'll do that, I'll do that, hold on. Yeah, my man talking about he would like to come in and shit. I'm, I'm like, I'm like, you know what I'm saying? I'm kind of, I'm kind of liking this shit right about now, but that's all right. Yeah, I'll pump some people in. Hold up. Hold up, man. I'm going to give you the key, man. I'm going to give you the key to the crib, you heard? Uh, where we at? Right here. Here you go, my brothers. What happened? What the fuck happened? Okay, I got it. Hold up, man. Hold up. I got I gotta do it manually again, man. Uh oh, my bad. Let's see. Let's saw. Mami el negro tan jabrioso que le perdió conmigo. No sé lo que le pasa. I had to I had to redo it, guys, just in case. Hold up, man.
Come on, man. One, two, and three. Perfect. All right, yo, listen, I'm throwing the link up. I'm throwing that link up, guys. You guys want to come in? Uh, you're more than welcome. You guys want to call the show? The number of the show is what? 917-863-8331. Once again, 917-442-6975. You got that? Or you want to get it one more time? <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. Hold up. Oh, look. Oh, my. Okay, baby. What happened? You're supposed to be in there, Nene. Why the shit not going in? Hold up, guys. I'm, wait a minute. She should be in. God damn, loco. Me quedé loco aquí. Yo, what the fuck? Check it out right now. Let me know. Let me know, man, because I'm, I'm putting it in. I'm putting it in. I don't know what the fuck is going on, yo. trying to do it guys i mean yo yo see i'm trying to do it but i don't know what the fuck is going on see i really don't know my brother and i don't want to start doing this you know guys whoever want to come in i don't want to start doing this i don't want to you know i don't want to want what happened last time man i was good we was talking everything was beautiful and you know what i'm saying i don't want to start this bullshit again you know but you know what i'm gonna do man Oh, fuck. I'm going to do it one more time, man. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. I'm not going to bust my ass doing this, guys. Okay, audio. Audio, camera, audio. Come on. Come on. Okay, we're going to put it right here. It's good. It's good. All right. All right, guys, this is it right here, you heard? If it doesn't go through, I don't know what to tell you guys. All right, guys. Yep. That's here, y'all can hear you. Let's go. Solo. All right, all right. All right, it's working. Hold up, Bito, wait, wait. Yo, guys, Sea Biscuit. Um, I did what you told me to do. I did it. So hopefully you will come in also. You feel me, my brother? Um, yeah. What's up, Ethan? 
What's up? Um, Yo, was, was you was you was you? Excuse me, was you trying to come in earlier? Yeah, no, tomorrow. <laughs> oh, mañana. I'm gonna go with mañana. Don't say. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, did you try to come in or you no. were fucking with it? No, the first time. Oh, all right, yeah, because um, she basically called me talking about that. Um, that was some people that want to come in, and let's see what happens. You know. Right, but yeah, right, anyway, man. yo. Uh, what the fuck was I talking about? Do you remember? You was talking about that people are not wearing masks. Like, yeah, you know thank you, Conyo. You yeah. see what I'm saying? Woo. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> ah. You see what I'm saying? That, that's my boy. <laughs> yeah. Yo, I don't know. Oh, is wow. it true, though? Is it true? You do, do you think? I mean, do you see that? Or uh, is it me, bro? I see like 50-50. You know, I see people wearing masks. And I see people don't wear masks. You know, but but I'm talking about I'm talking about people like let's say where we at now? We we on 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 fucking April, right? April, okay, the end of the, almost the end of April. Yeah, yeah. Do you remember last April last year? At this time, I believe that everybody and their mother had a mask on. That's true. That is you true. understand what I'm saying? But what I'm looking at now is that, yeah, okay, people's using the mask. Don't question. Hey, mm -hmm. keep using it. For me, I'm I'm going to use that shit, B. Oh, to I see ain't nobody else dying from from that. And it's like, you, you understand what I'm saying? I want to yeah. make sure ain't nobody else dying from that. I'm talking about all over the world. Now, mm. now, you know, I'm noticing that, 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 that there's people out there, and I'm pretty sure, and I hope, that these people took the the, the ejection, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, the cure. Because Maybe I haven't not. taken it. I haven't taken it. Has you? No. No. Uh, why? Are you scared? Or you just don't, or you just haven't got the chance to do it? I mean, I heard things about it that's negative. So that's why. I, and I'm not really thinking about it. You know what I'm saying? Like, to be honest, I'm not really thinking about it. You know, I get... um. I get a, wow. a fucking text every, I said like every three days from fucking the hospital from, um, and I want to give it, I want to give a big up to the hospital, uh, Jacoby, I mean, not Jacoby, my son, not, not my, excuse me, Matu Fury. I want to give a shout out to Matu Fury Hospital, yeah. And, I mean, like every three days, they tell me, yo, Blasi, blasi, blah. You want to get a shot? Blasi, blah. You just come in. You know, I gotta give, I gotta give it to them. You know what I'm saying? Thank you for that. But I, I just gotta wait a little bit more, man. I gotta wait a little bit more. I gotta see if it's, you know, what I'm saying. I gotta see if it's something that that. You know, just think about it. If that should be part of your life, or uh, or be part of the life now, like you always gonna need that shit around you. Mm. That that's that that's too scary for me, man. I'm sorry, that's too scary for me, my brother. To have a straw, I mean a needle, you know, just in case or you get sick. I mean, nah, yeah. man, nah, nah, nah. That's too much for me, bro. I'm too I much. mean, it's gonna be like the, the flu, you know, like it's just gonna be the norm, you know. You One think day. so? Yeah, yeah. You know, oh, you know how they say, Oh, it's the flu season, they're gonna say <laughs> it's that season, you know what I'm saying? But the thing about this motherfucker that he doesn't have a season, bro. <laughs> this, this 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 motherfucker doesn't have a season. This dude will come at you in the heat, in the mm -hmm. cold. But actually, I don't know how true it is that I heard that wow. you could kill it like in the heat. It doesn't mix in the heat so well. Oh, I heard about that. I yeah, know. I heard that it doesn't make any. I mean, it doesn't mix in the heat. Like the heat kills it. I don't know how true it is, but that's what I heard. That's what I heard. So, uh, um, whatever it is, may God bless him. I got to see a little bit more homework for me to say, Doctor, I'm going to do it. You know what I'm saying? That You know, that's what I got to say. You, I mean, you would do it. I mean, either they come tomorrow and they say, Yo, we got you. You would do it right there in your house, whatever? Nah. Uh, I, I got to wait and see. Yeah, okay. Yeah, same thing over here with me, bro. You know, same thing on, we got Joker Fish. He wrote, I got a couple of questions about NYC, but I'm scared to jump on. 
why, my brother, why are you scared to jump on? Why is he scared, Ethan? I don't know. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, <laughs> I mean, do I got my uniform? You know what I'm saying? I mean, <laughs> do I got the police uniform on? Or, or, or you know, I, I'm, I fucking work as a, I'm a pro officer. What the fuck? What's Confess. up, Oscar? What's Confess. up, Oscar? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Yo, what is name again? Where is he at? Hold on. Where is he at? Joker, Joker, where is he? Joker Fish. Joker Fish. Welcome. Okay. Hold on. Let me let me let me find this dude. Yeah, he asked us a couple of questions ago. And I caught my interest. You know, like when, when he when he wrote that, I was like, why? You know what I'm saying? I don't see him. Hey yo, Joker Fish. Listen, man. You could come in, it's free, no double charge. I mean, no bouncers. Mm. All you have to do is just come into the place, bro. And um, you can ask Ito every, any question you want. <laughs> this is the Ito show, yo. Know? Oh, shit, my show. Yo. Yeah, my your show. show. I, just, I just gave it to you. Mm -hmm. ah. yo, let me tell you. Let me tell you. Um, wow. Didn't you tell me you got um, you and your wife tried doing the show? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did a little stream. Like, uh, was it yesterday? I think. Yeah. Okay, but well, I mean, I mean, how long did it last? Was it like about an hour? Uh, about half an minutes. hour. Yeah, half an hour. About half an hour, and, and what was the you know what was the thing about? Um, uh, was coming back from how to say more. What is the guy? What was that? How to say more. What's the name of that? How to say more. Hold up. That's in the Bronx camp? It's in New York City. I never heard of that shit. Hold on, hold on. In the Bronx, right? Like in the Bronx? Brooklyn, where? No, not in the Bronx. Not in the Bronx. You gotta, you know, it's a 30 minute drive. What? I never heard of that. You ever oh, heard of that Palisade Mall? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Palisade Mall. You heard of it? Of course. Yeah, where the fuck I've been at, bro? Fuck I've been at, man. I mean, I mean, is it, is, I mean, I mean, is it a big mall? I mean, like, it's, it's like yeah, it's know, a big mall. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's a big ass mall. Wow. Yeah. Wow. I mean, that's the only one in New York, or they got they got like two or three. Uh, I think that's the only one, right, CB? Uh, like the main the like, mall, like the big. Main mall and shit. <laughs> well, there's only one more. <laughs> you gotta no, go in front right. of it. Like, you know what? What you, what you gotta do before you go in? You gotta say, Passe more. And then the doors open up. All right. Yeah. It's a bad It's a bad It's a You serious? Yeah. Do you say, Passe more? Hey, yo, hey, yo, hey, yo. Um, um, see, you hear this motherfucker? Yeah, I didn't even know he speak Spanish. He speaks Spanish, bro. He speaks Spanish, bro. I can't believe really Did you see that he saved, bro? Yeah. He, I, he, you just surprised me, bro. Mm -hmm. I, I, don't, I can't go too far, but, you know, I, when I got to argue with the home attendants, it come out bien. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I noticed that when somebody's really pissed off, right? And well, that's that like that, out. That, it comes out perfect. <laughs> that shit comes out like crazy, bro. Mm. And the same thing yeah. with the English. Like, when, especially the ladies, when I mean, like the little grandmas, first thing they say, motherfucker, yeah, motherfucker. Right. <laughs> like that. That. Oh, 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 bitch. Oh, bitch, you yeah, mother yeah, yeah. bitch. I just speak no English. I don't speak no English. Hey, fuck you. The motherfucker, I don't speak English, motherfucker. I swear to God. I don't know where they get that shit from. Papa Smurf. Anyway. In the building. Where's he at? Is that? Oh, well, well. Hey. Yo, Mo, what up, Mo? I see my boy Mo is on. Yeah, Mo, hey, yo, man. Mo. The peoples. Yo, Mo, you got to tell me, man. Old jokes aside, Mo. Old jokes aside. I want to send you a T-shirt, Mo. I want to send you a T-shirt. Oh, whatever the fuck whatever the fuck it is, Mo. But I don't know where to send it, Mo. You don't give me um, you don't give me no address or nothing, Mo. So I don't know what to do, Mo. 
So, you know, please let me know, man, where you want me to send this shit at. All right? Yeah, it's overdue, man. It's overdue. No, I've been, I've been, I've been, I've been, I've been telling this, like, since day one. You know, Mo, Mo been with me for, yo, Mo, Mo been with me, like, like, in the teens, bro. And, and, and you know, I, I've been telling him, yo, I want to get you the show, I want to get you the show, and, and he don't give me no address, man. Just don't understand that. But, yeah, Mo, you already know, man, please give me your address or call me. Um, if I got to send this away, if I got to mail it to you, I'll mail it to you. Just let wow. me know what's up, Mo. But wow. really, so, so, your box, right? so, so you <laughs> smoke some, you smoke some good, good bud because your eyes are shutting low. What do you mean? Whatever weed you smoke, that shit is good. Fucking, fucking, fucking bet your ass it is. Not a lot, but you know what it is too? You know, you know what it is too? Yeah, I'm, getting a little, I'm, I'm like getting a little sleepy. Because, uh, like I said, remember, um, I you know I, I can't sleep. So what I did was I slept like about two hours. Mm -hmm. Then I just got up and I forced myself up, and I haven't sleep no more. So now this shit hitting me. So if let's yeah. let's say let's say once I'm done here, uh -huh. all I gotta do is lay down my bed, put on the fan on, and I'll be out. Boom, right there. That's what I'm saying. Solo, don't forget, Solo, don't forget, you got those stuff coming in tomorrow. The headphones. Oh, I know, I know, I know, I know. It'll be trust me, trust me. Joyce will wake me up. You know and what? Tuesday, Tuesday too, you got the rest of the stuff coming in. Mm, that's a lot of stuff there. Tell Ito, tell Ito, tell Ito what's up. Oh, Gito, I just got him a sex doll. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. Take some time. You gotta take some time. Not bro. only, not, it's just not only one. I mean, it's not only a sex doll. Bro. Oh. This, this bitch, this bitch talks to you. Oh, man. You know what I mean? That must have been expensive then. She, yeah, yeah, she thousands. She, she says, Solo, get gutly. No question. <laughs> <laughs> you feeling me? You feeling me? Yo, you feel me? You feel me? You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's what I love about her. That's what I love about her. I'm gonna call her Pinky. Fuck it, Pinky. Well, Pinky. Out. that's the porn star right there. <laughs> oh, yo, solo. You know, Mo, Mo is right. Let me man. find that's out. Let me find out. You know, porn star. What happened, Zing? That drink, whatever you're drinking, that has a lot of sugar, bro. Bro, it's ice. It's ice. It's ice. It's ice. Look. Yeah. It's all ice. I, I, took out, I took out the the juice and I kept the ice. It's ice though, for real. See, look. Oh, it's all ice. Now, nah, yeah. uh, Gito, I got him a few stuff for the show, man. Remember yesterday after the show, he got hot. He just ripped the shirt off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I got him a little, a little. I got him a little portable fan. That he yeah, that's, that's why you got kicked out from YouTube. <laughs> 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 yeah, I, no, I, got I, got I got kicked out because I was mooning people. Yo, you yeah. know I got two pictures, right? You know I got two pictures of Pink. You know Pink. You know Pink the singer, right? Oh, yeah. that's about the porn star. As a matter of fact, you know, no, 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 Pink the singer. Matter of fact, see, show us. Matter of fact, show see, us no, no, I don't, I don't, I don't want to show it to the public. I don't want to do that because I don't know if I can get in trouble or what. But I'm gonna say it to you, see, if you want right. to put it up, you put it up. I don't want to do it because you know I it also could jeopardize my job because I was working when that happened. Mm. So if that if, if that shit gets leaked out that I was the one that did it. There's gonna be a lot of clubs gonna be saying, "Nah, nah, we 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 can't hire you right now, no more solo," because you know what happened. Yeah, now I know why they call her Pink. All those pimples I, around her butt. Uh, yeah, I, you know, her I, I play, I play the fifth on that man, but uh, <laughs> but uh, yo, it was, it was, it was, it was, yo, uh, you know what, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna send you the picture, and you see it. Mm. You'll see it, but you gotta promise me you cannot send you not you cannot take it out. Nah, I won't, I won't, because I won't, because I won't it's already you know why because it's already I mean I already said it on the radio that I'm gonna give it to you. So you know a lot you know how people are man for a couple of dollars, but that's why they that's so, why they never left nut. So me me so so anything for a couple of bucks <laughs> I no. give money out. <laughs> no no listen to me listen to me not you my brother. Oh, you, got, you, got, you, got, you got to stop thinking of that. Not you. I'm talking about the, the people that listen to the show. Like, I tell you, yeah, yo, it's blah, 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 blah. The next thing you know, niggas, you know, I mean, it's yo. You see the picture, you're going to be like, what the fuck? Ooh, I'm sorry. Yeah, we can make t-shirts out of it. 
Yo, the most pimple. <laughs> oh man, pimples <laughs> all around, bro. Yo, pimples all around with the, the you know those pimples with the pus. Yeah. Oh, come on, yo! I'm talking about uh, you know I ain't, I ain't saying you know much, but just put just put you like that pimples. I mean, Ugh. crazy! I never see something like that, bro. That's Swear to nice, God, bro. Swear to God, B. I, yo, when when I finish talking to you, I will tell you what it is. That's disgusting. You know what? Speaking of marijuana, yeah. Solo, you never met Sunto at the club. Snoop Dogg, I met him like you could say like about a 10 minute thing because uh-huh. that was this club. There's a story about it. That was this club, and the name of the club was the the social club. The social club. Uh-huh. Uh this club when it first opened. Matter of fact, it was it was not a club. It was like a like a bar lounge. You know, you know it was a lounge, right? Yeah. Yeah. You know, where people sit down and and mm-hmm. mingle next to the fireplace, whatever the fuck. Yeah, okay. see, they almost one. Okay. Uh, okay, they, they, they call those shit lounges. But oh, yeah. at nighttime, at a certain time, it becomes big music, rap, and something, you know, it gets crazy. It gets crazy. Okay. So, you know, it, I mean, what, I mean, it's just crazy, B. It's crazy, man. I mean, I don't even want to tell you the, the rest of the story, man. Right. It's, it's just... It's just wild, B. It's wild. Say Trust no more, man. Say no more. Trust me. It's wild. But yo, E double, you could be a bouncer if you want, man. You got, you know, you you're a big dude, bro. No, we're Gita. You're a big fucking guy, bro. I'm yo, yo, see, I'm serious. Niggas big, bro. You, you gotta Who see him close range, bro. You gotta see him close range, kid. <sighs> this nigga, no, yo, I put you like this. Yo, he's bigger than me, bro. Yeah, I, I saw his biceps alone. He had he got yeah. big arms. <laughs> Yo, he got the he, he really got the, the the how you call it the fucking um my my favorite wrestler man the man, Macho Man Randy Savage arm oh yeah not the Hulk Hogan but Randy Savage yeah that's I, I try to do Macho Man just now I said oh yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's your wrestler, see? see who's your favorite wrestler. Damn, I don't know, man. I, I, I know. I'm going to have to say I'm going to have to say Hulk Hogan first because I grew up on that. And then okay. second will be Stone Cold. Second will be Stone Cold, and then third will be Undertaker. Me, being honest with you, I never was like a Stone Cold. I was never like a Stone Cold partner. My favorite what? was Macho Man. You know yeah. what I'm saying, Macho Man. Um, I liked it. Um. The Undertaker, the Undertaker when he first came, the the first original Undertaker with the gray, with the hat and the gray shit on, with the little glove, you know that I, that Undertaker, Ultimate Warrior, no question, Ultimate Warrior, and this motherfucker, um, uh, Bruno Sammartino, awesome, oh, and, and Bruno Sammartino and Superstar Billy Graham, mm. that motherfucker. Look, look up, look up on superstar Billy Grant up and and motherfucking uh Luferino. Um, not was that what was that again? Luferino? Oh no, that's the the body. No, no, not Luferino. Bruno Salatino, excuse me, Bruno okay. Salatino. Look What's up on Joy them. Rocks. Look up on them, bro. Uh, that was Joy Rocks. No, he's dead. Mm-hmm. Hello, solo. I'm backstage. Oh, he wants to come on. Um. Fitch, Yo, Fitch, come here. Hold on, hold on. I got you. I got you. I'm sorry. I ain't noticed you, my brother. I didn't see that. All right, all right, all right. Yo, all I don't right. got you no volume. I don't got no volume on you. I seen the Mo Smith. It's a classic. Hold on. Hold on. I'm, I'm trying to see what's going on with the bro. He don't got no volume. Hold up. Hey, you see. Yo, see, I think someone's acting up. Yeah, I, I, um, he don't got no um. No, I think yeah, someone's man. acting up in the in the comment section. What? I don't know. I think it was uh, C. He said something there. Hold on, I got it right now. What happened, C? Now we had a little. We had a little problem, you know. You you fucking kill him. I don't. Don't fuck with me, man. 
Did you fucking kill that fucking cockroach? <laughs> Coño, Manolo, I tell you, don't fuck with me. Hold on, who's this right here? I gotta be Joker, right? Joker fish? That's the Joker. Right there. Oh, right there. I'm so serious. What's up, yo? What's up? Yo, we can't, Joker, we can't hear you. Maybe you got it on mute or something. No, you got we it on mute. You. you got it on mute. Because we can't hear you, bro. One. One what? You gonna give me a blunt? <laughs> <laughs> Damn, man, we can't hear him, bro. I oh, know, man. we can't hear him, babe. Yo, we can't Damn. hear you. We can't hear you. We can't hear you. Nothing, we can't hear you. Damn. Call back. Call back. I told him to call back. Let's see if he understood that. I hope Who's he Joker? Did. Who's Joker? I never saw Joker. Uh, not a good dude. I've seen him before. I've seen him before. That's the first time seeing him. Nah, I seen him before. Tell me oh, why you okay. think he picked me up real quick. Yeah, yeah he's all cool. Huh? Nah, that kid, yeah, that kid is cool, bro. That kid, you know, that kid. I had to get off. I had to get off real quick, solo. All right, where you going? Where you going? No, I had to. I got off because somebody wrote a stupid comment on your on the on the live. Oh well, I haven't seen it. What they wrote? What they wrote? Tell me. They they wrote solo. Solo look like he's on dope. Oh what? I just, I just, you know something, you know something, it's true. Well, you did smoke marijuana. No, 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 <laughs> it's true, it's true, it's true, it's true. I did, I did do dope. I took it from his mother. Oh, <laughs> snap, snap, snap. <laughs> I took it from Mama Duke. <laughs> Damn. That's what he get, man. Yo, you see the fucking yo. You talking about this shit? No, this shit is sugar, but this shit is fucking good, bro. I'm telling you, you got to get this shit. See, motherfucking oh, orange. It got orange, cherries, strawberries, pineapple, um, 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 passion. You know what's passion? No, passion fruit is really good. How do you call that shit in Spanish? Let me see. I bet you don't know. Uh, passion. Pacha, 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 pacha. fruta. Yo, uh, a matter of fact, what's up with you, um, G? You ever been to Puerto Rico, Gene? Be no. Honest. No. You Dominican, though, right, Gene? Yeah, I'm a Dominican, yeah. No, G, you Dominican? Don't yeah, tell yeah. me that. Yeah, I'm Dominican. Of course he is. Come on, Gene, don't yeah. tell me that. I mean, I cool. mean, what's, what, what's so wrong about that, see? Ah, uh, come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. See? <laughs> 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 Oye, que la vaina, coño, de ala esa vaina quieta, compadre, a mí mi cuarto. Yo, I would, I would have never guessed he was Dominican. You, you don't sound nothing like it. Nah, G ain't Dominican. G, G ain't Dominican. Puerto Rican, kid. Oh, I'm about to say it. That's crazy. <laughs> well, yo, check this out. I know this kid, right? A friend of mine. We used to call him Blanco. And this dude, 100% Dominican, born in DR. So, look, if I tell you this kid was the most whitest dude I ever saw in my life. Yo, blue eyes. Hell of shit, blonde hair. Yo, he's Dominican, full blown Dominican. And hey, yo, I mean, let's keep it real. Yo, see, let's keep it real. Puerto Rican, Dominican. Okay. I think, I think Puerto Rican, Dominican. I think Puerto Rico. Wait a minute. I think Puerto Ricans and Dominicans, right? I, I, I think that that's the only culture that I you know that could say that could blend with any other culture. You yeah. got Puerto Ricans that are blacker than black. Yeah, you, you got, got you Puerto got, Ricans that are whiter than white with green eyes, blue eyes. Yo, you my have son, Chinese. My grandson got blue eyes. You know you have Chinese in Puerto Rico, right? Literally, they speak better. Of course. Better I, 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 I don't even of buy Chinese food off of them. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yo, it. check this out. Check this out. There's a restaurant. There's a restaurant in Manhattan. I believe it's at 100 and, and 116 between um, Lexington and 3rd. It's called Preciosas. It's all is is run by Chinos, Chinese. And hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, wait, 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 wait. In Manhattan, in Manhattan. Yeah, yeah, in Harlem. In one hundred and sixteen between. And they call and it precio, pre, preciosa. Pre, yeah, preciosa is run what by all Chinese. They, what, yo, but hold on, hold on, hold on. These are Chinese in the Dominican store. No, these are Chinese serving um, Puerto Rican food. It's Chinese. It's Chinese food store. What makes you think they're not Chinese? I mean, what makes you think that that these dudes, you know, they are mixed with Puerto Ricans or something? I'm I'm telling you, they they are they Chinese, but they grew up in Puerto Rico. They speak Spanish better than you. Better than probably got probably got wives 
or husbands, the you know what I'm saying, Puerto Rican. Dude, one day, one day I go over there, I'm, I'm gonna take it to that spot. And I mean, it's, the food is banging. Andre, it's sorry. fucking delicious. That's in Manhattan. Yeah, in Harlem, in Spanish Harlem, 116 <laughs> between Lexington and Third. I uh, believe Lexington and Third. That's a little wow. bit. I never, yo, I'm gonna be honest, be I never. How long That's they been open? Saying. So How long have they been open? open? Oh, they've been open for years. For years. Yeah, for but years. it's a living around there. I, I can't figure it out. So look, I'll send you a video. Hold on, like, hold on. Somebody's okay. trying to come in. Hey, Joker. Okay. Joker, fast. Hey, can you guys hear me? Perfect, yeah. though. Perfect. Now we get you. Now we get you. Thanks, fellas. It's great to don't be here. Don't worry about it. And uh, I don't mean to interrupt your conversation, so... Uh, <laughs> now nah, our conversation was going nowhere, so happy. I'm glad you got on. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. But go ahead, see, what you were saying. What you were saying, go ahead. No, nah, I was saying the Joker is a good guy. He's a friend of a friend. He's a friend of ours. Right, Joker? <laughs> <laughs> you right. Yeah, Joker, where you from? Uh, well, I'm from uh, New Jersey. Uh, oh, hey, Joker, Jersey. it's not your fault. It's not <laughs> your fault. You know any better. <laughs> that, that, that's why I wanted to ask some questions about New York City. Um, okay. You know, grow, growing up outside, like, you know, I was outside of Manhattan, you know, Staten, Staten Island was near us. Um, and I even had, you know, my aunt and uncle lived in Manhattan. My uncle was from the Bronx. Um, but, you know, going, you know, going to New York City and, 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 and being around, you know, but I'm from Jersey, and it's a different world. And I just want to, you know, what's going on in New York right now? Like, what uh, you mean? Like, New what York, you mean? You know, New York like, is a big clusterfuck right now. <laughs> no, 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 wait, 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 wait. Like, like, like what you mean, my friend? Like, like, you know, I've, I've been around New York, you know, like, I'm from Jersey, but I've been around New York City my whole life. You know, I was a kid going to... Visit my, the, the first the first emergency room I was in was in Jamaica Queens, um, and I I just I uh, I've been away a long time, and I was just want to know like what's going like from being from New York and being from the area, what's going on right? You know, like what I, changed? I like if any if anything changed? Uh... The yeah. crime rate. Well, so well, I used to live in the Bronx, but I moved. I'm, I'm I live out of state now. I live. I'm near you. I'm in my Pennsylvania. You know, I, I moved to Delaware. I moved to Delaware, and um, you know, we used to buy drugs in the Bronx, in New Jersey. Uh, we used to go to the Bronx and buy drugs. We used to go to the Bronx. Well, the drugs are still there. <laughs> the drugs are still there. I haven't changed. <laughs> so I was just wondering if, like, you know, in this modern world, if stuff is different in New York. Like, like what? The drugs are better or, or what? I, I mean, how the police treat you. Uh, are the uh, drugs still, like, can you go on Jerome Ann? You got to give them a couple of, uh, how do you say that, see? You got to give them a couple of fagu. Yeah, well, I tell you what, with modern day technology, right? It's a lot easier to get drugs. They'll de they deliver now. <laughs> it's like Domino's; they deliver. It's like, yo, it's he like Domino's. Yo, he buy it's like Domino's. He buy things we play, but the true story. Yeah, they deliver. I know. Listen, I know. The, the police officers, police the officers, know, police officers know what's going on in the neighborhood, but they can care two shits. Especially right now, they don't care if uh, Nick one dime. So that's what he wants to know about drugs? That's what he wants to know no, about? I, I, no, he don't want to know about drugs. He just want to know how that, things are that's now. What, that's what there was like in the 80s. You know, we would go across the George Washington Bridge, go to the Bronx, get what, what we needed to get. Cops would pull us over. I said, we know what you're doing here. Okay? Great. Okay. <laughs> so listen, and, uh, um, Officer yeah, just, Fish... Officer Fish. I, I remember. <laughs> uh, it was Mayor Dick. Mayor Dick. Oh, Dick was a fuck up. He was a piece of shit. <laughs> Mayor Dick was like, we are not New Jersey's, you know, illegal drugstore. We're like, yeah, but where am I supposed to get coke? Oh, no, who said all right. Oh, Dick said that? 
Yeah, Jenkins, Jenkins said that, you know, um, you know, everybody that would go across all the Jersey people that would go across the George Washington Bridge to buy like coke, crack, heroin, no, whatever they was buying. I don't believe that. No. I, I think it's, it's the other way around. Jersey used to come to New York. No, I no. was saying like all the Jersey guys. Yeah, that's what Jersey he said. By the all the Jersey guys, guys would cross over and go to New yeah, York to cop. All the Jersey guys. Oh, okay, go, go oh, okay, okay, okay. Because I know I had a lot of Jersey customers. Ah. Yeah, all, all the Jersey guys would go to the Bronx and buy drugs. And then Mayor Dickens said, we don't want, you know, we're not New, Jer New Jersey's, like, drug store. We're like, yeah, <laughs> but, you know, how many people do, do I know that go to the Bronx or Harlem? <laughs> no, and they, I, no, and they still do. They still do. You know what? I don't know. I just drink, man. That's all I do. <laughs> you know, I, hey, I, fish, I don't mean to be fish. like Joker. Who are you really working for? <laughs> what agency? I CIA, ATA, NYPD. <laughs> Oh, nah, nah, that man, yo, yeah, was, that man legit. That man legit. Nah, I know, I'm fucking around. I'm just breaking balls. <laughs> I, I work for the Delaware State Commission of because I I live in Wilmington, Delaware now. What's that, what that at the psych ward? Oh, I've been in the psych ward. <laughs> 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 I'm under the care. Of the and how was that experience? <laughs> you know and what? that was. <laughs> you know what? The experience was a lot better because I would go to jail. Uh, hey, uh, hey, I, I, yo, hey, nothing, nothing. <laughs> I agree with him all day on that one. Hell fucking yeah. Hell fucking yeah. I would play the fucking crazy to go to fucking jail. Smart. Yo, good dude. Ward. Good move, buddy. What was it? The cushions on the wall or something like that? Uh, <laughs> the cushions. Uh, they they give you they give you three meals a day. Huh? Um, where? 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 Um, in um, Newark, New Jersey, Psych Ward uh, University Hospital. Damn, he got that. He, he got that shit by heart. He remember that shit. Oh, I, I don't. East Orange General, and and the the, the one thing about East Orange General. Is you had showers in your room, so oh, you could have your girlfriend. You could have your girlfriend sneak you in like cigarettes and joints, and you turn oh, the shit. hot water on, mm. and you could smoke your shit, you know, and steam up the place, and then just. Shit. Well, what <laughs> about my, 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 my girlfriend well, was sneaking a bit of fucking turkey. <laughs> I had my girl sneak in a turkey once. Oh man! <laughs> a <fucking turkey. laughs> my girl a whole turkey. Oh, I my girlfriend sneaking me in like we weren't allowed to have caffeine. She was sneaking me in like big Dunkin' Donuts fucking iced coffees. Mm. Oh, they were non-caffeinated. And I would get juiced up on the caffeine. I'd be smoking my cigarettes. But you're not fucking around anymore, right? You're clean no, and all no, that? No. Legit? No, I, I, I left that mayhem and chaos life behind me. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Now it's just the now it's just the cancer sticks. Yeah, exactly. The last oh, which, time I really messed around, I was facing ten to twenty, and I said, uh, "You know what? I yeah, should that will, that will probably be not be doing up. stuff." Hey, yo, <laughs> yeah, man. You heard see? That will fuck somebody up. That exactly. You're looking at, you're looking at football numbers. When your lawyer, when your lawyer, like not not your, you know, not just like the 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 government, legal aid, legal aid, cash out, cash money, and you pull it out Which of your one? pocket. Which What's one? Which oh, one? Just some New, New Jersey, like you know, I, I emptied my bank account to keep myself out of jail, and uh, and he's telling you, look, uh, uh, do you want to take a plea? I'm like, oh, what are they offering? Uh, you know, two years. I'm like, eh, no. I bet you he told you. you I bet you he told you. You give me three thousand, I'll get you a year. Exactly. I gave Thank him thirty five hundred. I know it. I know it. I know it. First offense. Never been in jail before. He figured the guy. You know, he just keep it real. He's white. He don't want to go to jail. I bet. I even. T I bet you. He told you. You don't want to go to jail with those fucking animals, right? 
Now, no, no, he didn't say nothing. But you know, um, I didn't really okay. hang with the the, the most the whitest crowd. I mean, everybody was white, but you know, they were like the, the lawyer was like the lawyer was like a pretty guy like you getting locked up. You don't want that. Oh, of right. <laughs> no, the lawyer, the no. lawyer didn't say nothing. My buddy said, no, "If you hear a guy tell you go get some go get some Kool Aid, be careful." <laughs> Get that's, the makeup. that's the makeup. And solo, that like that, that's another question I wanted to ask you. Yeah. If like you know, if a guy like me now, I I, I know you don't know me too good, but you you've seen my goofiness for like. I, I would have protected, man. No, but uh, I wouldn't I have fared too well on my own. Now nah, you don't know. You know, listen, you don't know that because I've seen people. People in there, and they look like you know they—they're not gang related. They're not tough guys. But the good thing about them, they keep to themselves. They mind their fucking business. Yeah. They keep to themselves. As long as you keep to yourself and don't don't go in there being all fucking goofy and being all happy, trying to ask people's information or just mind your business and you'll be all right. <laughs> people put paint this picture like, oh, you get you go to jail. Uh, oh, they gonna fuck with you? Please. Please, I don't know. Maybe back in the eighties and nineties, but now in the like when I, I got locked up before in two thousand and thirteen. To be honest, I met a lot of good fucking people. I met I met a lot of good people. There wasn't no rowdiness. There wasn't no bullshit. Nobody was fucking with you for the phones. Nothing like that. Yeah, you know. Yeah. And I was in VCBC. Then they transferred me to. Well, I did get a, into altercation. They put me in the in OBCC. Then they, they transfer me York? back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. New York. Yeah, yeah. And then they transfer me back to the boat and they put me in the cells because my classification went up. Mm. And, and and I was in there for doing something I never did. <laughs> I was innocent. They even dropped the whole case. All my cases, they dropped everything. Right. Yeah. And I still kept I still kept my paperwork. I have all my paperwork. I was facing 20 years, bro. I was facing 20 years. And I and I beat every single case. And what saved my life was my cell phone. They tracked my cell phone, and also at the time of these um these crimes, they tried to pin on me. I was in different places taking selfies, pictures. So they tracked my cell phone. They downloaded the DA took my phone, downloaded the photos. At exactly the same time they tried to accuse me of a crime, I'm in a, either in a lounge or hanging out with family taking pictures. The lawyer literally apologized to me. Said on behalf of behalf of the court, I want to apologize. And I was there with no bail. They remanded me. And the judge said, Listen, um, your next court day will be in three days. We're gonna give you bail of fifteen hundred. And mind you, I was already out on four bails. Hold on, hold That's on. What, you had fifteen hundred bail and, and oh, all your bail was fifteen hundred? No, hell no. My first bit my first bail was a thousand. My second bail was um uh, two thousand. My my third bail was well, yeah, one thousand, one thousand. It was three thousand second. The fourth, the the third one was five thousand, and the uh, I mean the third one was uh, five thousand. The last one wow. was seventy five was seventy five thousand. So you talking, about, you talking about yo? You talking about almost eighteen thousand dollars? Yeah, and guess what? All cash. No, but for the seventy five thousand, no. I was gonna I was ready to bail out. Hello, but the detectives was there. Somebody's gonna pick me up for another case. My lawyer told the detective, "Listen, let him see the judge. She's not gonna believe this." The de the detective let me see the judge, and the judge remanded yeah, me. They remanded me. I set up for seven months. Seven months. I set up. No, nah, no. Nah, they, they, they dropped all, previous, all my cases after seven, seven months. I could have sued. I could have sued. I could have sued, but I never. I never. I don't want to show the show. But you know what? You know what? That was the that was the best thing that happened to me. That was the best thing that happened to me because at that time I was acting stupid on the streets. I was drinking like a motherfucker and doing stupid shit. So I'm happy that that happened to me. That was a wake up call. After that, I completely changed my life. I mean, I completely. Like change my life, Gito. You know what I used to do? Oh, Gito's not there. Well, Solo, you know what oh, I you used know, to you do? Know that, you know that. Yeah, and I changed my life completely, bro. And ever since then, I, mean, I left. I left New York. I left. Yeah, I left New York. Uh, got a house out in PA, and now I'm into the real estate. Now we're looking for property to buy. Yeah, changed my life. I'm telling you.
That's the best thing that happened to me, no lie. Getting knocked up. Congratulations. That's amazing. That's an amazing story. Yeah, man. Thank you. I mean, you know, yo, you know what it is? Getting locked up, and next thing you know, the fucking cop talking about you got four more fucking cases. I think yeah, I would have the fuck up. I would have the fuck up, bro. You know what's the scariest part of being locked up? It's just not knowing what you're going to get. And, I, I, and, and, and your family. That's, you know, that's, that's, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, I, that's two things that, that stresses me out. Not knowing what's going to happen with your future. And yeah. Not knowing what's going on with your family out there. Yeah, yeah. And at one, at one point, dude, at one point, it's so stressful, though, that at one point you want to take a deal. Yeah. Just so you could just, just so you could do your time and get out. The faster you get out, the better. So, seriously, you know, I mean? you know how many people, I mean, if you look up on it, you find this out, bro. You know how many people, well, to be honest, I, well, I did that one time. One time I did that, baby. One time I knew I could I, I knew I could beat the fucking case. I knew I was good. You know, I knew it. But I also knew that, that I was gonna have to sit there. I knew I was gonna have to be in the island at least for about a year. You feel me? And I and, and I said, yo, fuck it, let me cap out to this fucking six months. You know, you know, not to stay there for a whole year. Yeah, just to get out. You know, just to get the fuck out and stop the court shit. Three o'clock in the morning, they wake you up. They, I mean, you don't leave nowhere until like fucking eight o'clock. I mean, no, 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 yeah, still, they wake you. They wake you up at what four thirty in the morning to get ready for court. Up. If, um, they they I mean, you, you wake you up for me. I had to tell them wake me up at three o'clock because I'm a, I, you know, I'm a hard sleeper. So I yeah. tell wake up, but the real time is four o'clock. Yeah, they, they wake, wake you up. up. Then they take you down to the cells. By the time you get out there, that's another two hours, three hours. You're waiting for the bus to come pick you up. Then we go to the I think when you eat breakfast, right? When 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 they wake you up for breakfast. Breakfast, By that time the breakfast comes, they lock you out, and then you can eat breakfast, and that's it. Next, you know they'll call your name. But you know what, that bro? I mean, they wake you up at four o'clock in the fucking morning, and then you leave Rikers Island to go to court. You leave like about eight eight thirty. And then when you get there, you sit down, be boom, by the time it's over with, if you're lucky, you can come back by one o'clock, two o'clock. If you're yeah. not, and then if you're not, you can probably come like about seven o'clock. But no, there was time. So oh, there was time. Fucked. There was time I got I got back late, bro. I'm talking about ten o'clock. That's the last bus. Yeah, and there's no there's no food or nothing. Lucky I always had my I always had my shit. So wait, you you guys was in Rikers, right? And then when you had to go to court, when you had to go to court, did you have to go to like a different borough? You what know, like, borough? Yeah, 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 yeah. If you for the yeah. Bronx, if you for the Bronx, you go to one six one. Manhattan, go to Manhattan Court. Queens, go to Hall of Justice. You got, you got, you know, the only, the only thing that happens, like, let's say you hurt somebody in jail. Let's say you cut somebody in jail. That's the only time that you would, let's say, if you, let's say you're from Brooklyn, you will be going to the Bronx. That's the, you know, anybody that gets caught with a razor or gets cut, I mean, or gets caught cutting somebody, you will go to court in the Bronx, straight to Supreme Court, straight to Supreme and if you're lucky, if you're lucky, they won't make you wear the fucking mittens. Yeah, that's, and that's not a good look. Hell no. Going to court with the mittens. Or even, or even, or even if you're in the box, they have you wearing the orange jumper. You don't want to go to court like that neither. And yo, you don't that want the bad. judge to see you. You don't want the yeah. judge to see you with that shit, bro. But when they see that, they be like, wait a minute. You still in fucking jail? Yeah. And you still fucking around? Oh, wait a minute. You got a red one. You got a red band. That means you got caught from with fucking um 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 how you call it? That means you're a cutter. That means yeah. you cut somebody in there. Oh, wait a minute, you got a green one? That means you got caught with fucking weed or drugs. That's the the green is drugs, the the red one is for cutting, and the green one is for for sucking cock, I think it is. No, <laughs> that's, the, that, that's the rainbow. That's the rainbow one. The, oh, my bad, my bad. How did you know? How did you know? I knew a guy that had that. <laughs> I know yeah, 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 but now, 
I thought, you know something? The, the green one, I mean, uh, the green one's for weed. I mean, for drugs. The the, the red one's for that. Wow, I really forgot what was the other Damn, I really forgot what was the other one. For, I think for fighting. I gotta check that out. I forgot. I'll be right back, guys. Let me go get some. Right. So, Joker, you got kids? Any kids? Wife? No, I got nothing because um, I just was wild my whole life. <laughs> yeah, so you and, changed your uh, life, though, right? Yeah, you know, I, I really did. Um, That's good. Uh, I got lucky. You know, I really did. Um, a lot of stuff I did that I never got caught for. Um, and the last incident that I was involved in, Really turned me around, and and it was a wake up um, call. exactly it was like, you know, I, some dude came at me, and you know I ended up putting him in the hospital. Self defense. Yeah, but the the state didn't see it that way. You know, the you, have, you probably have you have prior records. Yeah. So. Yeah. That's that's one big reason too. They'll automatically look at you a different way when they see your rap sheet and be like, "Wait a second, yeah, this guy got a history of this shit." That's his mo. Exactly, and 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 the messed up thing was, um, you know, it's I I, I just did what I had to do, and, and then all of a sudden I got police on me, handcuffs on me. I'm in, in the police, you, you know, and all of a sudden I'm in felony court, and I'm like, well, oh. well, you better you better off being judged by twelve than carried by six. Exactly. You had to do what you had to do. I mean, hey, hey, hey. that's copy, bro. Hey, 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 hey. it's okay. <laughs> dude, dude had me in a headlock, right? You put me in a headlock. I'm gonna do what I gotta do, get you off of me. Don't tell me you ripped his balls off. <laughs> no, I just no, no. what I did. What I did was I I like threw him off a porch. Oh shit! And, and then he got he got up again and was coming after me and I flipped the table over, kicked off a table leg and smashed him in the face with it, and he dropped oh. like a. <laughs> he got knocked out. He got knocked out. Yeah. I, well, and you, you know, he had like they charge you with aggravated, aggravated assault. Yeah, aggravated assault. Set to swallow. Assault with a deadly weapon. Deadly weapon. Set to swallow. All that. And I, I didn't even say nothing, and there was no witnesses. The cops were like, "Well, what happened?" I was like, "I don't know. I just got here." Yeah, what was the fight? Yeah, he, yeah. He, he, he basically tried to murder a man. He tried to kill a guy, threw him off the porch. <laughs> <laughs> off the balcony. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. What happened, buddy? What happened? You're not sitting. You tried to kill somebody or you had a fight? No, no, no. It, it was a fight. No, it was no, a fight. They, what they gave you for that? What they gave you for that? Aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. Three days. Oh, wait a minute. Deadly weapon. What, what, what was the deadly weapon? A butter knife? Well, well they'll consider anything a deadly weapon. It was a table leg. A table, a table, a table leg. leg. Motherfuckers, B. They, yo, oh my God, B. Yo, they what did they try to give you for that? What did they try to give you for that? What was the offer? I think he had a machete. A I, I was, yeah, it was, it was just a table leg. All I did was break his eye socket and give him 12 stitches. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Bodily, okay, bod wait bodily wait injuries. You <laughs> Yeah, I smashed. <laughs> okay, what what happened was, got was attacking me. He got me in a headlock. We were, we were on a porch, like mm -hmm. you know. And I scooped him up and I tossed him off the porch. Okay. Oh, so oh. Offense, right? Okay, so attempted murder, <laughs> aggravated yeah, assault, assault with a deadly weapon. Hold on the side. Hold on the side, Steve. That's that's like um, protected custody, bro. I mean. Who, who, was guys, right? who started? Who started it? Yeah, how, yeah, how did they start? That guy. The, the other guy started. He started wow. pushing. Oh, no, and they locked the both of you up, or they like they, they just locked you. No. They 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 couldn't, you know, lock nobody up. Um, but he pressed charges. 
because there, oh. there was no witnesses. And so it's his words against George. yours. Yeah. Now, this was a this was a buddy of mine. But wow. solo, this is the problem, solo. The solo, solo, this is the problem. His words <laughs> against the other gentleman's word. But the thing with Joker here, he I, I believe he had a rap sheet already. He got a criminal history. It's so true. you know it's they true. already judge you off that, you know. Hold on, hold on, hold on. He got, he, this guy right here got a got a record already. <laughs> I did, I did. He he was clean as a whistle. Okay, okay. You got record. What, what was what was your record? If you don't mind me telling, what was it? I mean, well, it was just like bar, I I was in like bar fights and smoke of weed and. Okay, okay. Uh, so they're looking at you. They're looking at you. You was a troublemaker. He's a he's a yeah, menace like, to society. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're gonna they're gonna they're gonna look at him like like okay, uh the other guy is bigger than him. Oh what the other guy was bigger than you? No, he was smaller than me. But... That's that's why, that's why, that's why. Yeah. Put put you like this. Even if the guy, even if the guy would have started with you and there was witnesses that the guy started the fight with you, your responsibility as a Let's say you, you taller, body this citizen. Man, <laughs> taller than right. this man. Um, obviously, it's, it's fucked up, but, you know, they, they probably said that you were taller, heavier than this man, so, you know, you could have, you know, you, you could have been the aggressive one and, you know, stuff like that. It's kind of hard, man, when, you know. When they, see, when they see the other guy's injury, uh, it's sad to say, but 9 out of 10, they'll, they, they'll go for that guy. They'll, they'll defend that guy. I, because I, I think the the fact that he went to the hospital too. That I put him in the hospital. Yeah, you crushed his eye socket. No, yeah. I know, I know. Wow, that that accident must have been crazy, man. Because let me tell you, there was um. When the cop showed up, Joker said he slipped. <laughs> uh, well, I said I just got here. I don't. Yeah, know he didn't believe that. Oh, he didn't oh he said you just got here. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, okay, let me see your hands. All right, we can have to <laughs> Oh man, was your shirt ripped? Anything was ripped? They looked at your neck. Did they look at your neck? Yep. Yeah. The hands, the knuckles. Did they no, put their hand I, on I your chest to feel I your heart beat? I didn't throw any hands. I didn't and throw no see, hands. You know this thing? Yeah. I, you know when I was when I was young when I was young you know they they in the Bronx you know the police they searching us. I got search at least I, I ain't gonna lie man. Um, let me see. I stopped hanging out all the way like from like. 25 years old, that's when I really stopped hanging out and started doing my own little thing. You know what I'm saying? But let me tell you, in my teens, I could say I got searched at least, at least 5,000 times, bro. You I swear to God, God to me, at least, the, bro. The cops were just like, you know, because you were hanging out? Was it like a race? Hanging thing? out, like hanging, hanging out in the corner. Um, they had literally. I remember two times, bro. I'm walking out my house. I'm, I'm, I'm in the hallway, and I, and I, you know, when you open the last door to go outside. Yeah. Oh, God. Yo, oh, Joey, God. you're a funny guy, Joey. The fucking cops. The two times the cops gave me a fine because you know they were. Oh, somebody described that you had this and you had this. I know. All of a sudden, somebody described that I had to have a pair of black jeans on with a white shirt, so that gives them authority to search. So I used to not want to argue with these motherfuckers. So I let them, you know, search me. But before they do that, I just told them, yo, I got this in my pocket, and I got that in my pocket. I don't want them to come out with a fucking double seven. You got to look at that video. You got to look at that video when these guys, I mean, police officers, bro, pulling out double sevens, all that crazy shit, my brother. I mean, yeah. it's just local. I've been, I've been watching your videos, man, you know, and, uh, you know, I, I see when you're walking around town, and 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 that's what I wanted to ask you, like, with, with the pandemic, you know, and and with the defund the police, is there more like crime, or you know, nobody can work anymore, man. There, there's so many like jobs that we could have, but they shut the the jobs down. So well, the governors, the governors did that. The governors did that. But that, that's the thing is you got the pandemic, you got to defund the police, and no jobs. That is just a powder keg. Yeah, that defunding the whole police thing is ridiculous. Defunding the whole police thing is ridiculous. 
you know, listen, none of us like cops, man. I, I don't want no cops near me. But I know that you have to have the cop, you know. Uh, oh, come on. You know, the, the, the crime rate has just gone Hello. up so much. You know, hey, man, I like, I like, I like cops. <laughs> <laughs> I like cops. Hello. You got yo. You got assholes in in every field. Come on, man. Yeah. From from doctors to lawyers to police officers, firefighters, teachers. You know, teachers. You have assholes. It's just you know, it's it, it's in everybody. Everybody, you know, everybody had their days and shit like that. Uh, I, I'm in construction, and I, Listen, I, I know an asshole for life. <laughs> are you in the construction business? Yeah, well, yeah, I, I don't own a business, but yeah, I that's what I do. Union or non union? Uh, union carpenter. Oh, nice. So you're a master carpenter? Journeyman. Okay. I was, in, I, uh, I was, lo I was local 79. Yo, I, oh, I used to live in New York. Yeah. Oh, sweet. Sweet. I'm uh, 626. I know, I know, okay. sweet, but I'm not on 46, but I know that man. I got, I got, I got, I make good hands with you guys. Hey, Joker, for some reason, like, yeah, I, I don't know. I know I, that you're coming in and out. Yeah, but I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to answer because, you know. Maybe because Consolo's talking is. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm talking to my, uh, my loan shop. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I Joker, got the, the, law, the, the, the loan shark. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I just tell my wife to bet. Uh, I just put a bet there for twenty thousand dollars, so we good. <laughs> hey, Joker, Joker. How long you been watching the show? Um, I've been watching K Solo since he was just doing streams, like in his bedroom. Mm, Get the fuck out that's, a that's a wild. That's a wild. That's a long time. Um, why well, I never? Why well, I never seen you like your name or something, buddy? I. I I, I type a couple things here and there, but I, I'm just like a shy, quiet person. I know, I know, I can tell, I can tell. There ain't no, ain't no wrong with that, yeah, man. That's why I was, I said I was scared to come on because. No, nah, don't know. be scared, bro. Never be scared, my brother. Never. You, you a part, you a part of the K Solo family, bro. You, a, you're a veteran. You, you're a veteran. All duty, you know, it doesn't mean nothing. He got bro. your back now. Joker, Solo, Solo, Joker's a veteran, bro. Get out of here. He's been he's been watching when you were screaming in your bed, laying down. Oh no, I, I saw that. I, so I, I, I remember you on the bed. No, I heard him say that. That's, that's what I'm trying to tell him that that you know people like that, man. You know, I, I'm like, you know, like wow. You know, I, I mean, you know, thank you, man. He's you know, a lawyer supporter. He's a lawyer literally supporter. a lawyer supporter. <laughs> I have yeah. a lot of them, but this man. This man is talking about when I used to sleep in that room over there. That's, that's, no, that's, that's love, man. That's love. So, so Joker, so basically you're telling me that that you and your partners, the FBI, have been watching Solo for the last year and a half? <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? I could even promise you that the FBI used to hang out on my street when I was a kid just taking pictures. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, oh, boy. I, I, I I grew up in a neighborhood. Um, my neighbor and his father were both mo New Jersey mobsters that went to prison, yeah, got out of prison. The and, ten guys, the ten guys. And and the guy the guy that lived behind me, like he only came home once a year for a month. He he's from Sicily, and oh. he would visit his wife. And his son, and um, his his son had like severe Down syndrome, so he he lived in a home. But his son would whenever the uh, <coughs> home, and and my aunt had that I lived with had Down syndrome, so um, they would kind of like talk and interact. But um, yeah, uh, the police never bothered us as kids in our neighborhood. We had dirt bikes. We had shotguns we had wrist rockets and you know m80s and we would just go crazy yeah remember the blockbusters and, uh, oh 
we had everything, man. We we had everything. Well, the, I, Italian, I the Italians used to run the firework business. They they <laughs> they used to have the best. We we had um, you know, you could put you could put these in a mailbox and blow it to smithereen. <laughs> One time, I would, you know, because I, uh, you know, I was a little hustler. And I, I was selling Blockbuster, and I sold, I sold a bunch of them to the kids in the neighborhood. They popped, they popped, they popped the sewer. They oh, popped the manhole for the sewer. It went up and dropped it. No, that could kill somebody. They could have blew the, they could have blew the whole neighborhood up. <laughs> With that, but you know, cause wow, what, what, wow, what, a, what, a, what a fucking influence! <laughs> what a great well, influence to the community you were. Well, see, the thing is, is they they tell you, you know, oh, don't hang out with the bad crowd. Uh, you know, my mom would be like, don't hang out with those boys; they're bad. But you know what? I was the bad one, and I I was born that way. I couldn't help it. Uh, he was telling you know, he was telling I, your mom, yeah, those guys are really bad. It's like, like but I'm the bad one, mom. Listen, I, I love moms. I love your death, but I'm sorry. Um, I'm just one of those like wild child. He was a rebel, a rebel. I used to play in a punk rock band and we would go around the country and just cause chaos. Oh, what was the name of the band? The Bolshevaks. Bolshevaks. What is that? What? Um, it, it, the Bolsheviks were these like crazy dudes that be, you know, in Russia, <coughs> in trouble, and um. So, so you we're Russian? Like, okay, we're, you Russian? Uh, Polish. And Polish. Irish. Polish oh. and Irish. I got a Polish last name, and my last name <laughs> fits in with the whole Bolsheviks because. Um, one of the Bolsheviks had my last name, and all we did was just cause trouble. And people would say, "If you guys calm down, you know, you guys." Uh, blah, blah, blah. And we had the record labels coming and sniffing around and said, "Oh, just calm down." And we're like, "I." It was more fun to go on stage and get into a fist fight for me than it was to like be like a professional <laughs> joker i would like to know because you have joker fish as your name is there something behind that with that name yes yes i was watching um a batman cartoon okay called, i was thinking about that yeah called um it was like batman uh I, but the joker <laughs> You know, you know, um, he he was making. He had this stuff called Joker fish, and he was going to sell the Joker fish to everybody. Oh, and it was, okay. And it had like acid, and it was going to make people become evil. And okay. um, I always wanted to, you know, start a band and call it Joker fish, but. <laughs> so you're a big fan of Joker, then the character. Not oh, really. You don't hear, like, it? You don't hear it. <clears throat> Not necessarily. Uh, I, I, you know what? I love the old school Batman show from the sixties. Nah, you really do, man. The campy one, uh, right? Yeah, yeah, like the one where the ones from the sixties. Yeah. No, you were the bat two feet. You were the bat two feet. Yeah, you were the bat two C. The bat two. I love that. And, and and the guy that played the Joker just like when I was a little kid, I just loved him. You know, you know, you know, he's Puerto Rican, right? Oh, Cesar Romero. Oh, yes, he's a Romero. He's Puerto oh, Rican. I believe. Shit. Wow. Oh, no, no, no. Who is this? Who is this? The, the visual Joker? Yeah, from the Batman from, TV yeah. show. He what refused about? to shave. He refused to shave his mustache. He refused, and they had to paint it. Oh, they had to paint over his mustache. You can see the mustache because that was his. Yeah. You know, that was his. Uh, Yo, uh, like his see logo. Me. See yeah. me. You know the actor that played Mickey and Rocky. Yeah, um, part of the show, right? Bur Bur he was the penguin, Bur Burgess, Bur Burgess, yeah. some shit. Burgess Meredith. Yes, he played the Joker. What? Yeah, and then you had Batman as Adam West. Um, what was who was Robin? 
Some gay well, guy well, from Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> Boy Wonder. <laughs> Robin, 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 Robin was a fucking, uh, if, I, if, I, if I'm not mistaken, Robin came from uh, one of those, uh, he, used to, he used to do a lot of plays. He used to do a lot of plays. Yeah. He played with himself in front of God. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you, know, you, know, you know something? He didn't want to fight Bruce Lee. You know that, right? You know uh, the, in the TV show, Batman versus the Green Horn and the KO. Oh, you know what? You want to fight that was great. Kato, Bruce Lee. Come on, man. Yeah, I used to love that shit. Until they ruined yeah. it in 2011. And they came out oh, with a remake. Movie, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah was, movie. That sucked. I gotta say, I like some of the Batman movies they've done over the years, but that Green Hornet was just garbage. The new and Green it, Hornet? It was such the Green Hornet was such a good show. Yeah, man. I mean, that on the last Batman. No, no, the old school one was good. With Van Williams as Green Hornet, Bruce Lee as Kato. Yeah. yeah, that was a good show. Remember what is it called? Is it the One Million Dollar Man? Steve oh, or Steve million Williams? Dollar man. Six I million. Was that tonight. Six yeah. million dollars. Six million dollars. Yeah, that was a good show. You know, they're supposed you to know, make it to know, a movie I or something got, like that. I got the old school 1970s six million dollar action figure man. Oh, you want to oh, you want to sell it? I don't want to sell it, but I'll give it to you. Nah, you don't gotta give me anything. I don't take anything for free. Hey, so <laughs> wake up, and we got you lit. Um, oh. listen, I'll buy it off for you. Is it, is it in the box? I am, yo, I am tired, but I'm listening to you guys, and I've been right. working the show for like two hours already. <laughs> I know it was supposed to be a short video. You're supposed to get up only a half an hour, you told me. I know, but I can't, you know, I can't, I can't, you know, you guys are joining yourself, though. So. Yeah. yeah. Joker, you, ha you, have, you have it in the box? No, no, no. It's, um, Loose. I got it. Uh, I traded, you know, like I, I, I have, I used to have a really good record collection, you know, yeah. like the vinyl record. Yeah. Until a, a fl until Hurricane Sandy came and ruined ah, everything. Oh, you. Oh, man. <laughs> but before Hurricane Sandy, I had like a a, a record, like a, a single. I forget what band it was, but I traded you my friend. You thinking? He was in a band. He was in a punk rock band. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Like, like, it was like a punk rock record that I traded my friend for. It was just like, you know, an independent, stupid I mean, little what did I mean, was you the singer or just a band? I was player? the guitar player. Mm. It was cool. Yeah, I, I was like, you know, me me and the singer used to write the songs. Oh, Joker, I need you to do me a favor. What's that? You still you have a guitar with you? I have. Can you play Hotel California? Oh no, but I love that. Hey, yo, song. see, I'm telling you, see, me and you, bro, we got the same shit, bro. The oh, evil, bro. Wow. Dude, yo, you know, you know, you know that song? California. You know that uh, song? You know? It sounds familiar. Sounds familiar. Joker, what about Pink Floyd? Are you a Pink Floyd oh, fan? Man. Joker, Pink Floyd. You know what? I seen Pink Floyd in 1987. I had oh, a man. job when when I was in high school. I had a job, and uh, I had you know money, and Pink Floyd came to New Jersey and played Giant Stadium, and I got man. I got me my girlfriend, my best friend, and another ticket, and we saw Pink Floyd. Man, what a fucking great show that was! I love their songs. Hey, Victor, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Victor in the chat said, I'm not surprised. CB has a blow up doll. <laughs> you, you know who is good to ACDC? I saw ACDC. Oh, I love ACDC. I love ACDC. Also, so um, good. Black Sabbath. Black Sabbath. I saw Ozzy play one time. I Yo, he's still Sabbath, performing. Ozzy. Ozzy is still performing this crazy fuck. So that guy's like the biggest drug addict in the world, and he's like 90 years old, and he blows no, everybody. Still, He'll blow any 20 year old. Yo, yo he's still kicking ass, bro. Even I, I believe on um, Guns N' Roses, they Puff still Puff Puff too. I saw those guys in 1987 when the first record. Oh came. my God! And you lucky son of a gun. <laughs> and a guy, you know, I don't really know him personally. 
Uh, but Ooh, uh, Axel Rose? I don't. He he's a friend of mine, like through another friend. But he plays in a band, and it's him, Send Dog from Cypress Hill. Yeah. And um, uh, a guy from Fear Factory. Uh, Fear uh, Factory. Uh, like a heavy Rogan? metal band. Yeah, I was thinking about that. Joe Rogan, right? Um, no, I don't know. I don't know, but it's the band is called Power Flow, and it's Send Dog is on the mic, and this dude Billy who plays, he's from New York, and he play, he used to play in like that like a New York hardcore band. So no, you got a fight on your shoulder. Yo, Mo Smith. I don't think I don't think Ozzy has Parkinson. I think I believe that he was being over medicated. I think Ozzy was being over medicated. I, I seen an interview like a few years ago that he was talking perfectly fine, and they found out that he was being over medicated. They slowed oh, down to like, him. You know what? So that's why he got the fight. Yo, Joker, think about it. You when you see Ozzy performing, he's awesome. He's good. He's not stuttering yeah. or nothing. He moves around on stage. He he sings amazing. Who, who, For who, his who, age, who, yeah. Who's about man? Ozzy, Ozzy Osbourne. Osbourne. I mean, we, I mean, laughing with him. Laughing with him. Nah, he's good, I man. I want to get high, so high. Yo, so high. Puff, 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 pass, man. Puff, puff, pass. Yo, so it's like the lights are blinking. He's thinking it's all over when he goes out drinking. Oh. <laughs> you know what concert I went to that was amazing? It was called oh. the Wu-Tang Homecoming Show. It was at the Meadowlands in New Jersey, and it was the day before Old Dirty Bastard died, wow. and he didn't make the show. That was my boy. That was oh. my boy, man. And I was my Old my heart was broken. My heart broke because, you know, the op like they didn't have an opening act. It was just all the <clears throat> members of Wu Tang would come up and do their solo stuff. Mm. So everybody came up and did their stuff, and it was amazing. Method Man comes out, does his stuff. Method Man goes backstage, and every the, the whole crowd, ODB, ODB, the whole crowd's chanting ODB, and then you hear Method Man on the microphone say, "Well, he ain't here, but if you I'm see him, tell him that. we love him." And then wow. all of a sudden you hear, "Bring the motherfucking ruckus," and the place explodes. And then the next day I'm at work, and I hear over the radio, "Old dirty bastard," was died in the studio and I'm like how did he die? What was his, the cause of death? They said heart uh, attack. I believe it was uh, it was a heart attack. Yeah. Uh, heart but, attack. But yeah, yeah, he had heart problems though. Something like oh, what wow. I got. Something like what I got and shit. But then again they said that that night he was getting high like crazy. Yeah. And, you know the 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 guy that was selling him the drugs was there with him chilling and and you know it was just crazy, man. So we do like, yeah, don't bring it up. It's gonna hit my whole way. Motherfucker, if you make it two, three thousand dollars every fucking two hours, man, you're gonna stay in that whole way. You feel me? You know, you know what's beautiful, Solo? Was ODB was in the studio on the mic, and that's where. Yo, he Mo, Mo, I listen to the Cure. You're right. They get, they're a good band. Just so like the cure, I love the cure, man. Great yeah, man. picture of you. I love yeah, they good, bro. They don't yo, nowadays they play shitty music. The music now suck. Ooh. Yeah, man. It's not like it's, it, there's no passion behind it. Now everything is auto-tuned. Back then people could actually sing. They could actually write fucking rhymes and it's just it's like a handful of people nowadays that are actually talented. Everybody else is all digital. Fucking voices were auto tune. With, with my experience in the in the music business, is um, the labels push things. You could have the greatest rapper right now who could do this and that, but if the label and, and you know, like you gotta understand, it's like the mob. This music is <clears throat> they push what they want to push. It doesn't matter. Yeah. If it's good or bad or whatever, they're gonna push what sells, and they're gonna. Push what the label? Money. What the label wants? Right. You know, I I, I know guys that were um, 
signed to like big labels and they said they were miserable because um like well you have to write a commercial song you guys mm-hmm. have to write a song it's going to be a hit song and you know if you're an artist you're like I, what am i going to do sing she's my cherry pie you know <laughs> like i mean you know you're going to do just do Look at DMX. Ain't nobody told DMX what kind of song to write. Rest yep. in peace, DMX. Love you. Love Rest you, DMX. Um, ain't nobody told DMX what to do. Ain't nobody told Wu Tang what to do. But there's a lot of guys that they'll say, "Hey, you know, um, they want the fame. Out. They want the fame so much they're willing to sell the, their soul." Exactly. You know what? I, I and I've met dudes. See, the only thing the record labels care about is making money. They don't care about art. Um, yeah. But there's a lot of people out there that will go into the the office and suck a guy's cock, which is true. <laughs> they will suck a man's cock so they can put a record out, and it's true. I, I'm not making it up. It's true. So, Joe, yeah, he worked in the music business. Oh. I used I used to be on the fringe of the music business, and I said no. When they offered me that big contract, I said no. I was going to ask you that question too. You know what? what um, you know, I was on a few labels. Mm-hmm. You know, small you labels. ever you ever you, do you ever wonder? Do you ever wonder what if if you would have taken the deal, how your life would have been? No, because I know what it would have been. Um, what would have been? How? What? 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 Why you say that? Why you say that? Probably would have been miserable. Yeah, the would have been the slave. Yeah, I I would have had to do stuff I didn't want to do solo. You would have I, no artistic freedom. You couldn't really express yourself. And no, not only sure. that, not only that, when I got offered that big Maybe deal, um, <laughs> I could see the music business was changing. I could see yeah. that if I signed your deal. And you're going to give me twenty five thousand mm-hmm. dollars, and I'm going to have to make, you know, five records for you. I saw, I saw the music business. I knew rock bands weren't making money. I, I, I saw that, um, you know, we were. You saw when, when the rock rock was actually like dis- slowly disappearing from the right. mainstream but, media. You know. I remember when I was a young kid, there'd be a rock band and they could sell out Giant Stadium or they could sell out Madison Square Garden. But when I was, you know, getting that big blah, 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 blase, blase nonsense, the biggest place rock bands were playing was theater, clubs. You know, so if you sign to a record label... And they give you twenty five thousand dollars to make a record. They're not giving you twenty five thousand dollars. They're letting you borrow twenty five thousand dollars. So you have to pay that back. And they say, well, we have to make a, a video, and that's going to cost um, sixty thousand dollars to make the video. So they're not giving you that sixty thousand dollars. They're lending you. That's $60,000. And they say, well, you have to go on tour. So we're going to put you on tour. And that's going to cost fifty dollars to $100,000 to put the band on tour. Now, you got to recoup that money and pay them back. Job. And if you can't do that, you're on the hook for it. You know? Job. Joker, where is your band now? Um, dead and buried. Then and Barry, really? Barry. You could have went independent, though. Well, you know, um, honestly, we we did. You know, we were independent. We uh-huh. did that our whole career. We got our music all over the world, and you could even go on YouTube and see us see some of our old live shows. On What's the channel? YouTube channel? What's the YouTube channel? Say, say, yeah, say your YouTube channel for everybody who can oh. go check you out. Um, well, it's not my YouTube channel. Other people put it up. All right, but you, oh. can't, put it up. you can't say it. You can't say it. No, other people, other people share the videos. Well, you don't have it on your YouTube channel? 
Well, uh, I have a YouTube well if he has it, he could pass it through. He could pass it. I have a YouTube channel, but all I do is like film bugs and my dog. <laughs> what do you do? What do you do? Uh, he looks like the animals. He kills bugs. No, he feels bugs. No, I feel. I don't kill them. I just film them. <laughs> uh, what kind know, of bugs? Like a, oh, it'll be like an ant. I'll be you know, sitting now, outside. What kind of bugs? Great manners. You know, I, I actually do have a praying mantis on my channel. You got I got an ant. Yeah, I got a praying mantis. I got an ant. I got a spider. Why ant? Which one? Which one? Which one? There's different. There's nothing. There's different. Oh, it's, 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 numerous. it's one of them red ants. One of them little ants. Is it a fighting ant or a. Well, it gotta be a fighting ant. It gotta be a fighting ant. He's a fire ant. Solo. A fire ant right, or, or, or a, a fighting, a fighting woman. You know, you know, you got the soldiers. Well, you know you what? You got the workers. Well, you know what? I got the soldiers because I seen the red ant. Joker, and change your name to Insect Man. <laughs> yeah, but, <laughs> insect Man. Go fishing, but if I go fishing. I could take the ants and put them on a hook and catch a fish. <laughs> Joker, how come you don't do videos talking about uh, what you experienced when you was in the band? Yeah, you, yeah that's something you should, that, start, you should start a YouTube channel like that. Talk about yeah. your career, your past. Wow, wow, wow. But you know what, fellas? Um, I didn't really enjoy it. it was you should come to the show. You can talk about your experience. You should go to New York and film these giant rats they have in New York. <laughs> you know what? I, you know, I, I don't have to film them. I've seen them. I've experienced them. <laughs> so, I see, I yeah, yo, Solo, Solo, how many, how many, how many uh, blunts have you smoked tonight? I think he smoked like twenty. Yo, he smoked a fatty. I saw the the, no. the last one was pretty fat, bro. It was a Molly. It was a Molly. That's what it was. To? To you, Solo. You don't see me eating cookies? Now you're wow. eating cookies because you got the munchies. Fish. Fish, why did the man die? Did, did you guys ever do dabs? Dabs? No. Um, what is that? Shatter, Jump. whack, oil. What is that? Oh, LSD? Boys. No, no. It, it's THC, but like high potency THC. Uh, what's, the name of it? what's the name of it? What's the name of it? I don't know nothing about that. Okay. Um, hey, fish. I never, I never, I never even smoked weed before. Never tried it. Right. Well, fish. How, well, what is it? I look. I'm <laughs> up. So, uh, I'm going to show you. Hang on. Hang on. I'm up. I'm up. Right, so. to my magic bag. Oh, shit. <laughs> magic bag. His, his magic bag of goodies. Magic bag. It has receipts on it and everything. <laughs> you see, he took out his tongue. He's like, "Yeah, yeah, pay your taxes, man." I got what the hell um, is that? I don't know. What the it's hell. the magic bag. It's a magic bag, man. You gotta show you the tricks. Is, is that the new chips they putting in people? This in the magic the trackers. Bag. Oh, I'm sorry. The glare. The glare. Look, so oh, I, I thought it was called the glare. Hold on, hold on, man. <laughs> I got, I got to look for the glare. Now, this is some nice sativa energy weed. You know, it doesn't, like, drag you down. Oh, God, now, it's Google over there in Jersey. Can you... Oh, what? man, wait. Uh oh this is, this is THC oil. It, the, uh, the glare is messing it up, but you see that black oh, I stuff? See. I can see. It looks like a little vibrator. <laughs> you know, I, think okay. my, I think my wife has one of those. Oh. Wait. <laughs> now wait. You got the injector. Oh. Injector. Wow. Oh. We're getting, we're getting a lesson here now. Right there, right? Yo, that's okay. it. That's the book, bro. All that. You, you know, you guys know what it is, right? How long that will last you? That's a fucking syringe. Yeah. How long that well, will last you? It's a syringe full of like weed. Marijuana, the, the oil. Oh, okay. Yeah, how much? Yo, how much? Oil. 
How much? How much? How much is that worth? Well, I pay. Um, it's a little expensive for what I pay. Okay. I pay sixty sixty five bucks. Not bad. But you know, how long does it last? One one gram. Well, for me, I don't know. Three days. I didn't even know you could inject <laughs> yourself a week. <laughs> I didn't oh, know that. No, no. You got to put a little bit of weed in there? Oh, you got to put a little bit of weed in there? A little bit of weed in there since I'm blazing. All right. Now, see this right there? Oh, wait. What's that, condom? This, this is THC <laughs> wax. Okay. okay. It's called peanut. Like This is the, what they call peanut butter wax. And it's like gooey. And it's filled with THC. Um, it's probably like this is probably like I don't know, eighty percent THC. Wow. This is probably like you know. Um, wow. Yeah, that's the set our prices 70. are different. Wow. Oh, God. But fellas, we're not done yet. Oh, we're not done. Yet? <laughs> oh, there's more. Wow. Oh. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, Joker would get along really well with Frankie. Well, Frankie. <laughs> You want to get along with Frank S. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's it. Shout out to Frank S. No. Yo, this guy right here is my new, This guy is my new baby subscriber. <laughs> we're we're going to have to um open up this package. What's that? What's that? The brownies? That the brownies? They got to be the co host, man. What is that? Oh, the brownies. What's that, brownies? Jesus Christ, you're, you're, you're a singer, a carpenter, a baker. <laughs> what oh, the fuck wow. is that? What is that? That's shatter. That's shatter? This is what you call shatter. Uh, I see someone at the TV. You know, this is, uh, this is all THC. I mean, okay. I got some, you know, CBD yeah. stuff. Listen, my body's all bashed apart from being a maniac. A construction worker, um, a football player. Oh, you're you a football know. player? Wow. Well, well, you got, you know, need to I mean, not professional. Player. Like, I played football when I was a kid, you know. Street football? Street football. Street football. No pads. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nowadays, kids don't play go that shit the, no more. Go to the green car and cut, you know, nor, you know, um, you know, like you're in the street, like, and hey, hey, Joker, can I say one thing, Joker? Tomorrow, yes, Monday, Joker, Monday, tomorrow, or today, later on today, right? Um, get on the live, get on live later on. Solo will be on later on, like around maybe I don't know, solo at eight, nine o'clock. You'll be on about eight, nine, about eight, nine. Yeah, you got to get on, bro. I have a feeling that we will be good at that. <laughs> hey, listen. Um, like I said, I I've been following Solo for the bedroom days. All right, so um, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> whoa, the bedroom whoa. days. So Joker, I don't know. I caught that. I caught that. <laughs> Joker, you know, that I mean, I swear to God, when he said In that, that good way. the bedroom you know, days. I saw, I saw oh, the black light. Oh. Hit me. Also, the black light coming down my ceiling with a with Marvin Gaye singing. I don't know why. I don't know it came out. Nah, but I don't know yet. Uh oh, Joker. Yes, sir. What well, what's Mondays on on K Solar? Monday Monday is unexplained phenomenon, right? With K Solar. I think I think the, Joker will be perfect. The unexplained yeah, no, the unexplained phenomenon. Let's talk about it. What do you think about yeah. that, Joker? So we talk about UFOs, we talk about oh, UFOs, uh, witches, all types of weird stuff. Um, matter of fact, you know something? Yesterday, I was looking at this thing, and there was there was this kid that you know was, <laughs> his mother. There was, this, there was a, a husband and, and, and wife. They were fucking no good. They were drunks, whatever. The the lady had a kid. She was pregnant. She had a kid. She gave birth to the kid. Do you believe the mother and the father, they killed a young girl? It was like back in the day with the hippies. So they killed a young girl, right? They killed her. The little kid 
came into the room while they were by she was already dead and all that shit. You know, they were violating the, the body. So the little kid walks in, the parent look, you know what I'm saying? They say, no, get out of the room. But like three seconds later, they change their mind. Like, no, no, come in, come in, come in. Can you believe they make that kid drink some blood from that victim? What? And that that kid became one of the most craziest serial killers in the world, bro. Who I, is I, that? I forgot his name. I forgot his name. See, I got it on my phone. See, so you I'm gotta send it out. Is it a documentary? A documentary? Yes, yeah, a documentary. Yeah, matter of fact, where did I get this doc- documentary from? Uh, I, I believe I believe it was it was it was. I believe it was, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, this is, there was a documentary, bro, but this shit was like fucking crazy, bro. The fucking guy became a serial killer, bro. His mother was making him, his mother was making him like, 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 lick blood and shit like that. I mean, oh, I mean, I mean she's not feeding him. She was one of those mothers that's not feed the kids like that. The kids always be hungry. Was it like witchcraft? I, like, if I it? understand, if I remember, if I remember, because I was watching this on TV yesterday night, and I was like falling asleep, and I remember something about I think the kid ate some of the girl too, bro. Ooh. Ate some of the girl, bro. Wow. Now, now, as a serial killer, as a serial killer, he started killing girls and guys, well, but he was drinking the blood from the oh, girls. No bullshit. No, this fucking guy was baby. This guy will fucking lose it, bro. No. That, that's nuts, man. That's nuts. No, see this get broke out? Yeah, it's a fun. He probably gonna go get a cigarette. He probably wanna get the cigarette. He can't smoke in the house. His, his, his wife will beat the shit out of him. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. How about oh. you, um, what about you, buddy? You can smoke in your house? Um, God, what's his name again? Um, the Joker. Joker. Yeah. yeah. You can smoke in your house. You can smoke cigarettes in your no, house. No, I I don't smoke in my house because, um, my mom. I I moved back home. My mother, you know, she's crippled. She's elderly. You do it. You do it for respect, your mom, man. No question. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. okay. You know, I, you and you know what's it. funny, Solo? You know what's funny? Is everybody's like, well, you live in your mom's house. Well, I'm like, listen. Well, what? Would, you, would you sacrifice your life to take care of your mom? Yeah. I would. No. Wow. You know, people could be so fucking cruel, man. I mean, yeah. I bet you, I bet you these are people that they friends of yours. I bet you. Yep. Man, no, that's fucked up. That's fucked up, man. I mean, I mean, let's support him, man. Like, like you know, like, hey, man, you want your mother there? Let that, I mean, I understand, man. I don't, people you know, could be like, really evil. Like, Solo, if it wasn't for me, my mom's would be in, like, a home. Oh, I know that. I, I think I I've probably, seen you. I think I've seen you, like, two or three times. Um... How you call it? I think I see two, two three times. Oh, you call me. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You call me one time, or I saw your your story one time. Or I don't know why, but I know I <coughs> I seen you one time. Oh, so, you know that's why when when you know I like I like getting you real fake. You know, mother blah blah. Yo, know, wow. I got to give it to you, but you're a strong man. Strong. Oh, say Karen's mother. Yeah, that's like you. The same one here, Joker. Just like I you, man. My mother for almost six years. Yo, 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 yo G. Tell him, tell him a little bit about your mother, man. My mother suffers from Alzheimer's, so that's why I take care of her. God bless, man. Yo, God 24 hours, bro. Yeah? 24 hours, my brother. Yeah, I live in my mother's house. I take care of her. Me too, man. Me too. Yeah. That's crazy, um, man. You know, that's you know. I got to hand it to you, too. And and, and 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 the thing is, is like, you know, I get the bit like, you know, people give me the business, but I'm like, I, I'm not putting my mother in no fucking home. I feel the same way too, man. You know <laughs> what? Like, I, I'm the baby boy, right? I'm my yeah. mother's baby boy. The I same here, sister. man. The same, but they don't care, right? No, I mean she cares, but she's got her life. 
You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Um, she's got her husband and her kids and her, uh, her mother-in-law at her house. She, um, uh, my, my sister and I are, you know, we got a good relationship. And I mean, okay. she's a super fancy lawyer that runs a law firm here in Delaware and one in Maryland. And her husband is like a a state senator, um, mm-hmm. like in our state. And uh, you know, she's got you know her own life. And um, it's my job, you know, it's my job to take care of mom. When my dad got cancer, oh. I quit my job. I I moved back home. That's right. That's right. Dad. I'm enjoying myself, baby. You that's know, right. I mean that that's just what I do, man. You know, I know I'm gonna go myself again for me. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna buy it, buy it, buy it, buy it. Yo, Joko. Yes, no, go ahead, go ahead, buddy. Go ahead, go ahead. See what you say, go ahead. No, man, I was just saying, look, you know, I've stopped my life to take care of my parents. You know, when my dad got cancer and, and it was weird because I was working at a state. Okay, your father not with you no more either? Your father not with you? No, he um it was two thousand two I lost him. Wow. Sorry. But what happened, what Sorry happened was buddy. um the towers came down and I was working at a state and I knew my dad worked he was working on Staten Island. Um, and I had friends, you know, all over. And I had to come home. But they, they, they shut down the New Jersey Turnpike for a couple of days. So I couldn't get home. You know, so I just, I you know, I went to work. and work. I said, listen, once they open up that turnpike, I'm going to see my family. So I get home, right? And uh, you know, I, I had family that lived right near the towers and all that stuff. Get home, everybody's okay. You know, don't worry about it. And my father pulls me inside and says, I have cancer. And I said, okay, what are we gonna do about it? You That's know, he's like, well, you know, I got chemo that I had to go to and this and that. So I went left. I said, okay, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be back. Went, I quit my job. You told, you told him I'll be back. Yeah, I said to my dad, I'll be back. Took off, grabbed all my tools, quit my job, moved home, everything back home. Took everything out of there, everything that was yours. Everything, you know, like I was, I was yeah. a union carpenter, man. I had a great job, uh, making good money. Um, all that came back home, took care of my dad. He passed away. Mom was just uh, lost. I said, "Okay, you know, I'm not gonna go back to to work, you know, there." Um, but I had my uh, cosmetology license, so I went and worked at a hair salon, you know, just like sweeping up and shampooing, and um. <laughs> You know, doing the rock band, and then mom got sick. And um, it's, it's not that she got sick; she got crippled. You know, you you know the older ladies; they just need to act. They get she has osteoporosis, and her hands are all crinkled up, and her back, and um, and I cannot say. You know, I, I got to be here for her, man. I got to. Um, she did everything for me when I was a kid. Now I, it's my turn to do it for her solo. You know what I'm saying? Can't let moms be stuck in a home where nobody gives a fuck. Yeah, and I got buddies that, you know, they, they work in the, um, the old folks' homes. And they yeah. tell me. The family doesn't come and visit. You know, they're like the sons, the daughter. No, nobody comes and visits. And I'm like, you know, these people are dirtbags, man. 
you're, 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 if you disrespect your family like that, and you're gonna let, you know, your mom, your grandma, your uncle, I don't care who it is, and you're just gonna abandon them, that's that's not cool with me, Solo. No doubt, no doubt, no doubt, man. But um, as you thought about, you know, forgiveness, man. As you thought about that, my brother. Absolutely. You know what, Solo? I, I grew up Catholic, and um, I may not be the biggest church guy. But I do believe in God. There's a lot of us. There's a lot of us just like you, man. There's a lot of us. I believe in forgiveness, man. I believe in redemption. I believe that everybody, you know, can rise up. I, I believe, you know, I, just, plain <laughs> simple, I believe that every, every man, every woman, God stays Savior. God stay that right. one person that's going to hold you down, you know, whatever, whatever. But I'm saying, do you believe this guy? Do you believe him? You see what uh, Joey Rocks wrote? What? This world needs more sons like you guys. That's a whole fact. No question. No question. Um, no question. Joey Rock. And yo, yeah. you know, it's, 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 it's true what you say, my brother, because I agree with you. And these are things that, man, that, that sometimes keeps me up. I'm thinking about, you know, what's right, what's wrong, what's not, you know what I'm saying? And man, man, it's, it's like, it's crazy. It's crazy, my brother. It's crazy, you man. Know, solo, I, I grew up, you know, with this guy, that guy, these guys. And I've always wanted to ask you this question. And um, there was a guy I grew up with. And when we was in our 20s, stalked and raped a 16-year-old and went to prison for 25 years. How would this man be treated? Now, I don't, I was never friends with this guy, but he was just a guy that went, I went to school with. Stalked and raped a 16-year-old, went to prison for 25 years. A white boy, how would he be treated in prison? If the prisoners knew what he did, yo, Solo, yo, there's a spider on your head. Which one? <laughs> Which head? Yo, so wow. Let me tell you, puppy. Um, you do know how to you do know how to drop jewels. I ain't gonna lie about that, buddy. Don't know how to drop jewels, man. Definitely, you know. You gotta, I gotta definitely give you that, man. You're a wise man, my brother. A very wise man, you know. Yeah, that's true. And um, and and I, I just don't understand what took you so long to um, you know, to to uh, to have your presence in my show, you know, because uh, people like you are people that I like to talk to. You feel me? Right now I'm sleeping. I'm gonna sleep because like I said, I don't sleep at night. I mean I don't sleep at I don't sleep at night. I, I mean, you know, I mean I could be two, three days without sleeping. I have that problem. But that's why I'm a little sleepy now, because I didn't have a sleep like about two days. So what it is, I'm fighting with my sleep. Right now, I'm here right now because of sleep biscuit. Uh my man, you know what I'm saying? That's why I'm here right now. It's not I've been sleeping a long time ago, man. You know, but, and what's keeping me up is you, because I'm hearing you, and I'm like, wow, you know, this, this, this man, you know, been through a lot, he, you know, he, he, he got to up here, and, and I gotta say, man, you know, like, wow, why you, why you, you know, why you never get to a show, man? I'm yeah, serious. you're interesting, man, you're interesting I'm character. serious, I'm serious, <laughs> being honest with you, you know? You gotta be a regular uh, after this. It, it was hard for me to reach out, Solo, because, um... You know, I'm just the kind of, you know, you were king. You know what I'm saying? You were king. And um, I never met really nobody that lived your lifestyle. 
And hold on, hold on, hold on. You never met nobody that been in jail that, that no, went to jail. I, absolutely, I have, but I've never met somebody that. Listen, um, the only guys I really knew were like the the, the motorcycle guys, mob guys. Um, but I, I never really met the street, you know, mm-hmm. um, and I, I didn't understand how to interact with you. If um, just because of like I'm a nervous kind of fella, and I've always wanted to reach out, and um, I think tonight was our night. And um, but yeah, man, I've always wanted to reach out and talk. But um, you know, I was just like, you know, this dude. You know, he's a real deal, and I'm just a goofy, you know, kind of guy. Don't say that, my brother. Don't say that. Don't say that, my brother. Don't, don't, never, 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 never put yourself like that, my brother. So don't say that. Come on. I appreciate that. I appreciate I that. mean, I mean, yo, yo, either you know what he said? Yeah, yeah, no, nah, nah, put yourself down. Yeah, like yeah, he's, he's that, nah, I mean, yeah, my brother, please don't do that, man. Listen, man, listen, um, you know, at one time, you know that's that what I love about my show, what I love about my show, my, my show gives me the strength to talk and say and, and share a lot of things that I wouldn't be sharing at all. Right. Especially with people I don't I don't fucking know from a hole in the wall. You know, um, you know, when I was young, if, when I was younger, you know, saying my my brothers and sisters, they was light skinned, like your complexion, you know. I was right. the only one that came out brown. So I always had that complex like you know like you know like you know like like who am i i mean did 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 the lady my mother adopted me i mean because you know it's like you look at my brother and sister it's like way fucking different it's like night and day with me you feel me right i i didn't know my my father my father was the perfect me my my family my father was perfect it was something that was missing so that used to like really, 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 really. I think, I think, I think I became. Um, I was diagnosed I, I, I with depression, and and it has and it had a lot to do with that. You know what I'm saying? You know, like, you know, like who who I was. You know, what I'm saying why my father was not around and stuff like that. But you know something? What made me what made me strong was that. I just set that to the, to the side. You see, I feel whatever's not killing you, whatever's not killing you, it's easy to take so, that and just throw it yeah. to the side. Right. You understand right. what I'm saying? Just throw it to the side and never, never, never call you. You know, I used to look at myself in the mirror and I used to be like, you know, I used to cry, literally cry. So what did God, so what did my mother, oh my God, why I'm so ugly. God, why I got a nose like this? God, why I got big lips? You know, I swear to God, man, this is something that I, you know, I, I, wow, this is the first time I'm saying this to a lot of people. So you know, saying I used to, you know, it, it was bad for me at one time, but then again, you know, I said, no, man, no, it could be worse. Life could be worse. God gave me two legs. He gave me two arms. He gave me two eyes, he gave me a mouth, he gave me a nose, ears. You understand what I'm saying? You know, drink, eat, go to the bathroom by myself, you know, give me the the, the, the <laughs> will to 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 fall in love with a girl, to make love to a girl. I mean, that's beautiful. There are people out there right now, my brother, that can't do what we do. You know, there's a lot of yeah. people out there. Hold on. Yeah. Well, Smith. Mo Smith, he just wrote something to uh, Joker Fish. Hit us out, Joker. What is that? Where is that? Uh, who you think, Joe? Who? Uh, Mo Smith. Mo Joker Smith. Joker Smith, you're a caretaker, and it is hard to socialize good. You found some people to talk to here on the K Soto show, so you so you won't feel completely alone. They're beautiful. That's my boy. Thank That's my you. boy. That's my boy, Mo. That's my boy, Mo. So, much. so, so yeah. like I said, you know, my brother, you know, I'm, I'm hearing you, man, and, and I just can't, 
help to say that you that you hurting you hurting inside man mm -hmm. and that's something my brother that you know you gotta you know you you gotta thank god that you could talk you could you could walk you could eat you could you, i mean you could do anything you, that you want you understand so yes sir, I so that, that's i mean i mean I the, for me I used to use this is the way I used to do it. when I was a state in prison I when I used to get upset and and, and, and depressed and all that I used to say damn man you know I got fucking three more years to go three more years I go home and I see my family blah 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 but what I, what, what I used to fix was this like wait a minute I'm going home in three years and I'm fucking crying. What about the people that got 10 years? What about the people that got 25 years that just got locked up? Yeah. They got to do that whole 25 years. And I'm crying for a punk ass motherfucking nine months a year. You understand what I'm saying? So I learned. I learned, man, to take things by the fucking neck and just say, yo, move out my way or I will move you myself. You understand what I'm saying, my brother? So, yes, I do. you know, it's just knowing how to take care and how to go take a, a, a charge of your life. Don't let, don't let the mind, don't let the, because, you know, my brother, you, it's not healthy. I'm going to be honest with you. You know, I've right. been listening to you. You know, I've been dozing here and there because you know, I'm, I'm a little sleepy, but I've been listening to you. And I'm telling you right now, you know, I believe that that you have a little problem there, and I believe that you should go talk to the doc, talk to psychiatrist, or whatever the fuck you want to call it. <clears throat> but I believe you need to talk to somebody, man. So, or, or even you can call me, or you can call uh, me and talk to me, bro. I'm always here, man. Hold on, hold on, my brother. Wait a minute, hold on. Yeah, Victor wrote something right here. Hold on. Yeah, what's up, bro? Give me, give me one minute. Give me one minute, see. Give me one minute. Or you could, you know, you could always call me, and I swear to God, to everything I love, man, if I ain't doing nothing at that moment that's important, you know what I'm saying? It's important. I'm getting on that phone with you immediately. So I'm telling you this as a man that if, if you need some some kind of advice, some some kind, man, anything, but just, just you know, I'm not rich, I, you know, what I'm saying, but. But what I have is my heart, man, and I can and I can and I can share that with you, my brother, because I know right now you're hurting. Thank you. you, you know what I mean, because I can relate. You know, so I I do the counselor thing, but they just yeah, you know they're, they're just people that went to college and never did nothing, and that's cool. um, you know, and and that's okay. I appreciate their advice. Like I'm a right, guy. Hold on, it's, um, it's kind of small. I gotta like learn how to get it open so that you need a couple minutes, right? But I'm, a... <clears throat> Yo, I'm sorry about that, guys. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, man. What 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 what, what I just miss? <laughs> no, no, he was mentioning about seeing a counselor. I mean, a counselor. Look, man, a counselor. You know, okay, I know a counselor could help you on certain things, but a counselor, man, being honest with you, man, a counselor full of shit. You understand what I'm yeah. saying? You need somebody, you need somebody, man, that been through, that's oh. going through what you going so, through, my brother. So I, I need somebody real. I don't need somebody that. That's, that's never, what I'm saying. Never, you don't need a yes man. It, you don't need a yes man. And I've been to counselors, so they'll say like they'll try to give me advice, but I'm like, you don't. You've never been through nothing in your life. You went to high school, you went to college, and now you talk to the, the silver never fucking been... spoon. Uh, solo. The silver spoon. Yo, solo. You know, I, yeah, I, yeah. Hold on, hold on. What's up, G? Open the door for uh, CD. Yeah, 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 yeah. G, yeah, G. Hold on. I'm talking to my, I'm talking to my, my, my boy right here. All right, man. Right. Um, no. you know, they, they, they got away. I'm talking to my boy right here, man. You know what I'm saying? Dying, dying, dying. For me, this is, this is more important than, than opening doors for people right now. So no, what no, I'm no. trying to tell you, my brother, is that, you know, I see you with pain, man, and you have a lot of pain in you. And, and you know, 
you're gonna have to lick that in the ass, my brother, because I, you know what I'm saying, I also see yourself, man, if you don't fix that, man, you know, you know, you're gonna blow up, and it's not gonna be a pretty thing. Thank you. You understand what I'm saying? It's not gonna be a pretty thing. Thank you. So my suggestion for you is, man, like I said, you know, my number, if you don't got my number, please get a pen right now and mark it down. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, please, get, get a pen, my brother, please, please. I will. Pen, please. I will. I will. Right now. <clears throat> what's up, guys? Yo, what's up, guys? This is the K Solo Show. Thank you for you guys for joining the show. Uh, please, um, you know. You know what's up, guys, man. This man needs to prepared, man. So yeah, up, yeah, I think, I think Joy, yeah, Joy Watch has some uh, encouraging words you wanted to speak. Oh, no question, no question. Can anybody hear me? We're gonna yeah, get hey, 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 Joy Rocks. We're gonna get your Joy Rocks. I'm gonna let you get it right now, but let me get this man the number first. All right. All right, my yes, brother. Sir. My number is 917. 917. Eight. Oh, excuse me. Four four two. Four four two. Six nine seven five. Six nine seven five. Thank you, call you so me long. anytime, bro. Listen to me. I'm talking about any fucking time. You hear me? I'm serious. All right. And if I sound sleepy, don't worry about it. Just give me two or three seconds, and and I'm there with you. All right, my brother. So, go, yo, Joey Rock, there, baby. Yo, um, listen, my brother. This is Joey Rock, my right head. Joey Rocks, his name is Joker. Joker, this is Joey Rocks. So go ahead, Joey. Tell him what you got to let him know, baby. What's up, Joker? First of all, yeah, thank so you. Low. Thank you, Solo. I really appreciate the opportunity. I was just watching, and uh, usually I don't get on. I don't even have my camera set up. But listening to the story, and as we're tripping out and bugging out, suddenly I got caught up in the story, and, and you know, I was really touched, man, to hear... You know, not only what you're going through, Joker, but also Gito. And I don't know how many other people out there that might be listening that are struggling, and especially these times with the pandemic and everything that's going on with the elderly. Man, and I just want to say I take my hat off to you guys. For real, man, I was I was really just moved listening to, to how you set your lives aside and you decided to take care of your parents. And right. NY83 NY mentioned something. NY83 mentioned something that I know to be truth biblically. I was raised as a Catholic too, but I know that we don't learn too much about the Bible itself in the Catholic Church. We learn about the church. Amen. But, um, NY83 though, he's very knowledgeable in the in the scriptures in the Old Testament, and he knows about um, the commandments and one of the commandments about honoring your parents has a promise attached to it. And I just want to encourage you brothers with that promise. And that promise is long life. You know, that's, that's going to be your reward from the Lord, you know, a, a long life. So plan on that, you know, even as you sacrifice your lives and set it aside for your parents, you know, plan on that for yourselves and look to the future because you guys have a future ahead of you. And God is definitely guiding you, man. I just want to say God bless you, man. I'll just I'll just step out and listen to your comments now. God bless you all. Shout out to everybody. You know who you are. I love you all. K Solo. God bless you, Joey Rocks. That's TV a lot. in class. Joker Fish. You got you got a lot of brothers up over here in the Jersey area. Still, I'm I'm in Woodbridge. I grew up in Jersey City. God bless. I, I, Jersey, Jersey now. I grew up in Hoboken, so I grew up, I'm a Puerto Rican kid that grew up around Sicilians, if you can imagine that. Wow. But, um, my, wife, my wife is Sicilian. Yeah, shout out to, to Miss Joyce, man. Yeah, man. Hey, man, I love the show. I'm just going to sit back and enjoy the rest of it and listen to your commentary. God bless you all. Have a good night. Be encouraged, Thank man. You, my brother. Good night, Thank Joey. You. Good night, Joey. Joey. Yeah, Joey. Joker. Joker, Joker, you've Joey. just gained a oh, shitload of brothers. That's Thank right. You, you got a family here. That's right. This is the Joker, man. This oh, show boy. right here, man. This show is the show, man, that that I'm proud about it, man, because I got nothing but the best people here, man. And let me tell you, the two and a half years that I've been doing this, I met so many beautiful people, man, that, you know, sometimes when I'm depressed or, you know, and like I told you, I suffer from depression, anxiety, I get panic attacks. Uh, I'm a big fucking mess. 
You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. But, what keeps me, but what keeps me insane is the people right here, man. I swear to God. If it's not, you know, I met like, that's, you know, I met a lot of people, but that's like two or three people. I mean, just that, that little, that little thing, two or three people that really, really, really gets to you. You know what I'm saying? That you be like, wow, you know, like, thank you, God, for bringing this man or woman to my life as a friend. And let me tell you, I'm happy to say, man, um, see Biscuit, that brother right there, man, you know, he's like, you know, I mean, I, there's no other words. There's no other Joker, words. he's talking about me. You know what I'm saying? There's no other words. <laughs> yeah, God, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure Joker knows who you are because he's he been watching the show, so I'm pretty sure he knows who Biscuit is. Uh, uh, yeah, you know, I, I, yeah. I see, I've seen the, the crew. Hulk Hogan? <laughs> the Hulk Hogan, yeah, that's what I'm saying. The Hulk Hogan, <laughs> you know, and and another guy that that I gotta say, man, that touched me so much is this guy named Tito. You know, this guy right here, man. Let me tell you, um, this guy caught a heart attack. After he did the heart attack, everything was over. He goes home. A week later, he goes back to the hospital for cor for the corona for the corona nineteen. Oh. He stays in the hospital for a couple more months. He comes home. Everything's okay. He comes home. What happens? His leg starts getting swollen. He calls me. He said, yes, yeah, so, you know, my leg is swollen. First thing I told him, I don't know, something just hit me. Go to the hospital. Go to the fucking hospital. I think you got an effect in your leg. What happened? The next day, he caught a fever of 105. You understand what I'm saying? He went to the hospital, what happened? He had an infection in his leg. Now they're talking about maybe cutting his leg. You know, this is a man that that his life is like, you know, like, wow. You understand? All his organs, his liver, his kidney is failing. So now when you think about a man like that, what he's going through, and the problem that you have, and, and all the problems that I have, me, 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 K Solo, aka Crescencio Rivera, it means nothing That's compared to that man. You understand what I'm saying? So, you know, before you get mad and before you push yourself, always think about there's somebody out there, man, that's going through a lot more than you. You yeah. feel I me? Mean? And and that yes. and, and the lesson to that is that you've got to get strong and you're gonna be strong. And and that's it, man. You think, think positive no matter how much. You have a lot more. Yeah, man. And no matter how bad the shit looks, man, no matter how bad it gets, man, just close your eyes and say, my motherfucking name is Joe Cup. And I'm going to do this. You feel positive me? mental attitude. There you go, my brother. God bless you. There you go. There you go. You know? Mm. You know, I mean, I, I, Everybody, you know, fellas, it's hard. You know, life gets so hard, and especially now, with this in the past couple of years we've had to go through. Um, and you know, it, it, it sometimes it feels like you're drowning. You got to keep your head above water. But you know, I feel like that. Below, I feel like that, man. You, you know, what you guys are talking about is you got to keep your head above water, no matter what. No matter, what, no matter what is going on, uh, and I mean, it's been hard for all of us, man. You know, um, there was a, uh, my sister's father-in-law died, uh, and we couldn't go to the funeral because mm -hmm. they only let eight people go to the funeral. Um, and it was just, you know, my mom couldn't go, you know, I mean, I couldn't go. I mean, not a big deal that I couldn't go, but um, a lot of family members could not go to his funeral because there was a shutdown of COVID. And that's just sad. But my niece was a senior in high school last year. She didn't get to have prom. She didn't get to have um, graduation. My other niece, it was her senior year in college, and she was a lacrosse player. All right, hold on, um, Joker. Hold on, hold on. Uh, Solo. Solo. Yo, yo. All right. 
Continue, Joker. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, my niece, and she hated college. She was, uh, All she wanted to do was play lacrosse. And her varsity, her senior year of college, she couldn't play her lacrosse because they shut it down because of COVID. Oh, you heard that, uh, mm. Solo? <clears throat> That's wow. crazy, right? Yo, I mean, Joker, I mean, I mean, that, Joker, pray, pray, brother. I mean, I mean, I mean, yo, yo, a lot of shit got closed, man, buddy. A lot of shit got closed, man. I mean, you gotta think about the people that was working, man. You know, um, I you lost, think about, I, I lost my job. I lost my job. That's what I'm saying. Then you gotta think about the people that that had business that lost that. I got a friend of mine's. That he lost, um, he was. I, I don't know what the fuck he was. What, what was his job? I know he had a job, and what happened was that um, the owner of the job, his mother passed away. She didn't pass away at Cobra, but she passed away. But in the funeral, while he's visiting his mother, he, he looked at terrible. So everybody was like, Yo, what's wrong with you? He was like, nah, I'm not feeling good, but I'm here because you know his mother passed away. The next day. <coughs> <clears throat> they rushed him to the hospital. What happens? Colbert. That's when, like, when it first started. Died the following day. Died. Died. My boy, he caught this shit. My boy's wife caught this shit. So, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, this shit was, was like really, 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 really bad, bro. Really bad. Uh, really, really bad, bro. And and you know something, man? I'm gonna keep it real with you guys, man. I, 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 I think I played it so like, if I had to go outside, I would, I would go. It, it had to be a, you know, like something that I have to do it. That's the only time you see me outside. You know what I'm saying? So thank God, man. Thank God, bro, that um, you know, I, you know, me and my wife are good, man. And I, look, look at look at my boy, look at my boy. This 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 dude is my boy. He don't go outside for shit. This dude literally don't go outside. This I know. Matter of fact, when there was no COVID, he he, he wasn't going outside. And the dude caught it. He caught it. His wife wow. was going to work, and he caught the fucking shit. Now that's crazy, bro. You know, so I mean. The thing about that shit be that shit ain't racist, bro. He ain't. I mean, that cop is not racist at all. That boy goes out. <laughs> he loves all men, woman. He don't give a fuck who you are, boy, kid, girl, child, baby, grown up, old oh, man. That motherfucker's coming to get you. You feel me? So, um, you know, it's crazy. It's crazy, people. So please take care of yourselves, man. Very don't true. Sleep. Don't sleep out there, people, because I've been noticing there's a lot of people out there that is not putting on that cost that 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 mask. I've been noticing. I don't know, maybe it might be me, but I've been noticing that dudes be having it, you know, dudes be having it behind the neck, bottom on their neck. Or I saw this one girl, she had a fucking one right head, top of her head, matching the clothes that she was wearing. That's fucking crazy. Yeah, people are wearing it for fashion statements. You, you, you know what I'm saying? I mean, come on. You want to do a fashion statement, bro? Okay, man. Look, buy something, man, and put it on right. <laughs> and you know what I'm saying? If you want to buy fucking Mickey Mouse, yo, buy the fucking Mickey. And leave the fucking Mickey alone, baby. Just throw that nigga in your mouth and you'll keep it alone. You, you understand what I'm saying? But some people be trying to do some... No, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know, man. I, I just, I just bug the fuck out. I just sit back and look and, and just wonder why, why, you know, why? That's crazy, man. That's crazy. Oh, hey, sure. Ito, you ever seen this phone, Edo? What phone? Yeah, you showed it to me. I did with the, yeah. with the, with the double screen mode. Yeah, it's nice, man. Nice. Never seen that. Yo, before. where's my man? Where's my man? Where's my man? Um, motherfucking on C. Yo, C. I know C. Yo, that nigga probably taking a bubble bath. That nigga C take yo. That nigga C take bubble bath all day. <laughs> now bubble bubble bath, bubble bath, and a shower right after. <laughs> no, 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 Simi. Yo, yo, Simi, 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 Simi shit, son. 
every you take a bubble bath every day. <laughs> yeah, a, a bubble bath. Yo, 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 no bullshit. He does every day, bro. Every day. Sometimes I be mean, I get tight. He's on the phone with me. I'm like, yeah, man, yo, put on the fucking camera. Oh no, I'm taking a bubble bath. Like motherfucker, why you taking a bubble bath? That's that's the wrong time you call me when you're taking a bubble bath. You fucking sick, you fucking sick. Bubble bath. I call Solo. I call Solo. I'm like, yo, Solo, what are you thinking about? You know, you fucking sick old ass motherfucker. Like, you're in the bubble bath. Yeah. Oh, like, yeah. wait, wait. Drinking wine. All of a sudden, all of a sudden, he want to call fucking Ito and shit while he's taking a bubble bath. Why the <laughs> fuck is that, Ito? I don't know. Wait, wait. Don't, don't, is it, uh, like, when you take a bubble bath, don't you sh drink champagne and eat grapes? Oh, come yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. No, no, don't yeah. do that. Yeah. Oh, oh, don't do that. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about. You know, listen, you know. listen, joke. I thought we was buddies. Don't no, no, no. <laughs> no, don't, don't, don't do sea biscuits bad. Now, come on, he got your tea. You're a bad influence, man. I'm sorry, you're a bad influence, bro. You so, know, I, I have, if you had a jacuzzi, you would do the same thing. Motherfucker, right? I butt naked. <laughs> butt naked. Yo, I, I do the jacuzzi myself by far. <laughs> do, do you boys? Do you boys remember the advertisements for Mount Airy Lodge? Wait, they had the Mount Airy Lodge, and they had the champagne bubble bath class. You know, uh, that's a movie. That was a movie. No, no, they they used to have. Um, you you'd be watching Channel Eleven or or the, you know PIX or something, and they would have a commercial for beautiful Mount Airy Lodge in the Poconos, and you could take a bath, a bubble bath, in a, a humongous champagne glass. Wow! Well, I'm taking well, oh, yeah, yeah, wow. a bubble bath with Bo Smith. Well, I I remember I remember in the dancing places in the dancing joint with girls. I remember they to be girls that used to dance in that in that glass, like a like a drink glass. You know what I'm saying? One of those, you know, like yeah. those, um, um, how you call those, how you call those drinks, man? Uh, fuck. Uh, a, 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 a martini glass, glass, like a martini glass. A martini and glass. See, yeah, and you see the girl in the glass. I mean, I mean, in the cheese to drink. You know what I'm yeah, saying? You guys, so, all right, when you, all right, all right, time out, hold on. You guys are cutting ass on me for being in a bubble bath, right? Were well, you guys saying the same thing when Tony Montana was doing it? Well, you know, I um, that nigga had a gun on him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Gun in the plus, bath, okay. plus, plus, he had a couple of kilos like next to him. I ain't fucking with a dude. I ain't arguing with nobody that has a gun and two kilos and two kilos right next to him open while he's sniffing this shit. Hey, I ain't arguing you, with the guy. Fuck you. Nice. Yeah. Who's yeah. Put this shit together? Me. That's who. You you are not going to make, yo, you are not going to get me to argue with that guy. You Never. Never. The only way you can be manly in a bubble bath is, is if you got a two a true professional. And a bunch of cocaine. Well, that or oh, put it on a polo. You know what I'm saying? I'm being honest. You know what I'm saying? That's manly. You know, you take a nice bubble bath with a nice big ass tub, and you got that big ass TV with the big ass asses and the shit. Oh, I literally, I literally have a, a fucking jacuzzi. I, I fucking I'm believe you. Photo. I believe you, you do. Hey, but uh, please, if you're going to take a photo, make sure you're not in the jacuzzi. <laughs> you can take a picture. No, it, would be, no, it would be my blow up dog. Just the blow up dog. <laughs> Which one, Betty? No, Bobby. <laughs> oh, Bobby. Oh, Bobby. <laughs> He's a good motherfucker. Mo Smith. Mo Smith. <laughs> yo. Let's play now, yo. Oh, Joseph aside, you do got a uh, jacuzzi? Yeah, bro. Wow. Jeez, bro, bro. Wow, son, you got it. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I don't know why the fuck I never went to your crib, son. I fucked oh, up. Oh, you seen? I showed you around my house. I fucked up. I fucked I showed, up. I showed you around my place. Yeah, but I never seen the fucking jacuzzi, son. Yeah, I mean, man. damn. Let me take you into the, I got two bathrooms. Wow. Wow. Yeah, but if you, if you got a jacuzzi, you got to bring the neighbor lady over. Oh, hey. Are you crazy. Hey. All my neighbors are old. Man, that's what they do. kill me. Hey yo, listen, C Biscuit, every month he takes he puts all of them in the car and takes the social security. Let that nigga get the checks. <laughs> Trust me, that's how old they are, babe. But uh, yo, let me tell you, I have seen on TV guys that this I think there was a show like that that uh 
uh, guys with sexy neighbors. I'm serious. I mean, you'd be crazy, man, to see the, oh, my God, man. Just imagine uh, a neighbor, 29 to 32 years old, blonde, green eyes, the, the height, 5'7", I mean, cherry red lip, lipstick on. I mean, oh, Jesus Christ, with the little tattoo in the back saying solo. I mean, I mean, you know, with a bullseye. Oh, nice, nice. You little freak. Yes, I am, sir. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> I'm guilty. My boy. I'm fucking guilty, you know? I mean, there ain't no more, there ain't nothing beautiful than a beautiful, beautiful woman, man. And and sometimes, sometimes I take it for the team, you got to get an ugly one. You know, something. I mean, I has done that. I ain't going to lie. So How long, many so people here can say that? You know, the ugly ones need love. You know what I'm saying? What happened, buddy? Even the ugly ones need some love. And oh, no question, you know? no question about that. But yo, let's keep it real. How many people in this motherfucking thing right now has ever took it for a team and, and took the ugliest bitch? I mean, seriously, I has done it. I has done it, and I has done it not once but twice. One, the second time I was drunk. I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. I, I never took one down. I never took one for the team. I, I, I did. Had, I swear to God, dude, B. I I'm did. A picky motherfucker. Yo, this bitch, this bitch had a had a had an extra tooth growing. This oh. teeth right here. Oh, this oh, teeth right here. She had an extra one growing, son. <laughs> that shit took a lot out of me, bro. Let me tell you. So that that no, I took off my contacts <laughs> because this one. <laughs> that was saber tooth. No, uh, I took off my contacts. If I'm telling you that I took off my contact because I did not want to see it. So you know I'm blind in a motherfucking bat. So I took the shiz off. I made sure everything was off. You know what I'm saying? I told her, no touch. No touching at all. No, no kissing. No, hell fucking no. What's wrong with you? You know what I'm saying? Nothing. 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 No touch at all. Head. If you want, to throw a towel on me and then you can kiss me. But just imagine, oh, God, just imagine kissing a girl like that. And then you're filling her second tooth. The, edge, the extra inside glowing one. Oh, God. And that shit's like black. You know, I mean, like it's dying, like it's half dead. It's like a like a baby born and is born dead. I mean, I'm serious, son. That shit's crazy, bro. Crazy. Mm. No, no good. Uh, and no you know good. what? You, you know what, Solo? You say, you know what? Don't say nothing to nobody. And if you do, I'll deny it. What's that? <laughs> I'll deny What's that? It. What's... You know, fuck your black tooth. I didn't do nothing with you. <laughs> no, no. I mean, you know, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Um, you know, I, you know, I did it for the team, bro. I did it for the team. You know, I mean, everybody knew what happened. I couldn't hide it. You know, what I'm saying because I did it for the team. Everybody had these beautiful mommies, and you know, you know. Let me tell you, in every group of girls, right? If they say seven, eight girls, ten girls, whatever, there's always that one. That ugly son of a bitch. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about the one that 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 like like she doesn't drink or she doesn't smoke cigarettes and you know and takes and she's she's the responsible one. Wears all black that, clothes. Uh, <laughs> that's crazy. I'm serious, man. That's like wow. Nah, I can't fuck around. I can't fuck around. Oh, Who? C B. Nah, CB ain't going nowhere. C B is come back. Trust me, that dude, that dude is a fucking, he's a fucking YouTube hoe. <laughs> <laughs> he loves the YouTube. He's like me. I love the fucking. Let me tell you. You know why I look a lot of, on YouTube, man? That I know this man that YouTube, right? It's like a fucking dictionary. You feel I me? Mean? It's like a dictionary. It's like reading a book, but the only thing this fucking book got stories and you can see the book and you can feel the stories. You understand? What I mean? Yeah, yeah. They're killing me. You can see, I mean, it's crazy. Well, well Solo, that, yeah. that, that's, you know, that's why, you know, I, one day your channel popped up on my thing and I, I watched it and I said, man, this guy, he just, he's real. He talks real stuff. He don't mince words. He don't, you know, and, and, I, I, I felt you. 
You know what I'm saying? No, no like, doubt. No, no doubt. I, I can't say like I understood like you know going to prison or you know living the street life, but I was just like, man, this guy's like you know I feel this dude. He's real, you know, and um, it, it, you know today was the day I said hello. I, mean, I, I typed a couple comments, but you know it was re- you know. It was really good to, Word. you know, I, I always want to reach out to you, man, and just let you know my story. Um, you know, I, I've been, you know, locked up here and there, but, you know, prison time or nothing, which, you know, I probably should have done. But uh, the evidence was, just wasn't there. <laughs> Solo, wake up. <laughs> I am up. Go ahead. I'm listening. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm listening. Go ahead, Joe. Yeah, Joe. The, the evidence just wasn't there, but um, well, I, you know, you know, you know what happens when you get the uh, the public defender. You get to plead shit out, so your record starts. Oh, uh, you had you had a fucking uh, legal aid, one of those motherfuckers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You might, yeah, you might as well just say, "I give up, sir. I give yeah. up, Your Honor. Give me whatever you got to give me." Exactly. You know? So I, I had all this stuff stacked up, but then. Yeah. Shit got serious, and I'm facing big ass felony. I'm like, man, I don't want no public defender pleading me out because I'm doing time for this shit. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna get me a store bought lawyer. Mm. Cleared out my bank account. Got me a store bought lawyer, and wow. uh, I kept getting accused of witness intimidation. The judge kept, yeah, yeah, oh yeah. And they kept Why? Um, I don't know, man. I, I mean, the judge kept saying, I think there's witness intimidation going on here. I think and she blame you for that. I guess so, because I, I'm the one on trial. <laughs> wow. Wow. It, so it I... got se- solo. It got serious, man. Wow. You know, and I, um, I'm not saying I'm like the most law abiding citizen, you know. Well, like, that, I mean, I mean, listen to me. Everybody, everybody, I believe, man, got their little. Okay, I, I, I damn. How can you call it? Everybody got their little demon, you know, little sticky right. little demon. I mean, yeah, I believe that. I believe that for you know, I believe that like a fucking frog shit in water. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's you know, it goes with it. You know, but you know. It's just, you know, but wow. Just, but, but but Solo, when you're sitting there looking at the judge and, and, and you're facing the judge and he's got his fate in your hands and he's telling And you can't you run know. nowhere. You can't go nowhere. Wow. What am I going to do, man? You know, I'm like. How many times you face that? I've been. A, okay. I've only faced like two or three felony charges mm. and I don't know, a bunch of misdemeanors. But this was the worst one. I mean, misdemeanors, misdemeanors is bullshit, though. Yeah, Fuck that. that. That was all just like, yeah. Fuck that. All right, but well, hold on. But the misdemeanors, do they have any, any, any like, uh, uh, man, I mean, misdemeanors, I mean, depending how many misdemeanors you got, though. Let's keep it real. Let's keep okay. it real. The, the, it depending how many you have, probably around the double digits misdemeanors. Wow, wow, okay. So the first time I got locked up, when I was twelve years old. Mm. For what? Um, and I was like a white suburban boy, but I the first time I got locked up, I was twelve for, you know, robbing the place. <laughs> <laughs> You're burning some colors. <laughs> I, but Solo, you know what saved me, man? It's yeah. What saved me was the neighborhood I lived in. Um, it was mobsters. I grew up in a neighborhood of mobsters. And, you know, the cops were like, all right, you know, you live in this neighborhood and blah, 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 blah. And it wasn't like a robbery where I pulled a gun on nobody or just, you know. 
I just stole some shit and I got accused of robbery. You know how that goes, man. They 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 bump up the charge. And yeah, that that was my introduction to the justice system. <laughs> And then from then on, you know, I would get locked up. Like, me, me and my buddy was getting tattoos one time. And there was uh, these guys driving by that was yelling shit. And we're like, F you. They went, Burr. and it was like, you know, brawling in the street. It's stuff like that, man. You know? The Joker can't hear you, man. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, you ice auto? <laughs> yeah. The water, the water, the water, the ice. Went down the no, road. I, the him, I, him. I don't know. He was talking about Joker. We he can't talk about birth controls. What yeah. <laughs> yeah, he was talking about that. <laughs> hey, yo, man. But um, Joker, I mean, where you at now, Joker? Like, like, I mean, where, where, where? Where you know, like you from the city? You from Jer Jersey? That's where you from, Jersey, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I mean, way up in Jersey or or right. close by? Right there. You know, I remember I went to Jersey one time, but I swear to God, you know, you know, I went to Jersey one time and shit. I met a, I met a girl and shit, and you know, we went to you know, I went to Jersey and shit. You know, you know, oh, what? Huh? He left. Oh, he left. He left. Hey, yo, um, hey, yo, uh, did you break out? Uh, what? Oh, Joker. Hey, Joker, Joker yeah. what happened? What happened, Joker? He's gone. All right, okay. Hey, Joker, man, thank you for showing up, buddy. Thank you, man. Um, I hope, I hope, man, that you know, what I'm saying God will help you, man, for the little things that's going on with you. You know what I'm saying? I just, yeah, yeah. you know, we all, we all, we all going to pray for you. And, mm -hmm. you know, I'm pretty sure you're going to be okay. All right? So, just, you know, God bless you, bro. Most definitely. Um, yeah. Yo, Ito. Yeah, Robert. Fucking, um, what's his name again? Joker? Okay, no, no, no. Um, C -B? C -B. C -B. C -B, he broke out. I mean, he didn't say, yo, goodbye, guys. Nothing. He just stepped the fuck away. Nah, he's going to be back. He'll be back. He always comes back. I think, I think his wife got that nigga by the headline right now. Fred, we speak him. Frank He's S having a bath. Yo, Frank S broke out. Yeah. out. Frank S broke out. Oh, he got in I, trouble, remember? Who? He got in trouble with the neighbor. Oh, that's right. Yeah. That's right. Wow. Yeah. I forgot about that shit. That, that's, that's when he like, he like, fuck that. You know, he turned off this shit. Yeah, why, yeah. I mean, but why, why he got in trouble with the neighbor? What he was doing, though? He was trying to uh, right? Yeah, he was smoking weed, and the neighbor gave a complaint about the smell. Oh no, son! I couldn't. I, oh no, hell no! I think hell also no. being loud too, being loud. I mean, he was not that loud, son. He, he no, was on he the computer. Loud. He was on the computer with us. I mean, I how know. loud can you get? How loud can you get in the computer? Be come I on! Don't, I don't understand that. Yeah, I mean that's fucked up, man. I'm 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 gonna have to talk to Frank S, man. I'm say, yo, man, your your neighbor got you on, you know, um, some kind of some kind of Debo shit. You know what I'm saying? Like you gotta lower this shit down because he says. I mean, being honest, I understand if it was like fucking two or three o'clock in the morning and you fucking making outrageous noise. You know how loud you gotta be speaking? How, how yeah. loud you gotta speak for the fucking neighbor to hear you clearly? Come on, that's crazy. That's crazy. Anyway, man, look. Uh, right now, I'm going to sleep, guys, because I am sleepy. I am very, 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 very sleepy. sleepy. Yes. And let me tell you, you know, you know, let me tell you, I was not going to come in, bro. TK, tell him. You hear me? I was not going to come in. Yo, what's up? What's up, my brother? Um, Who's this? Uh, fucking, um... Australia or what? 
Yo. Okay. But anyway, <laughs> anyway, see Biscuit That's like, right, yo, come yeah. on. Yo, yeah, see boy. Biscuit. Yo, see, Biscuit was like, yo, come on, blah, get the B, get the blah, 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 fuck it. Uh, Joker Fair said, thank you for everything. Oh, no question, Joker. You already know, buddy. Where is he at? Where is he at? Okay, it was the internet. It was the internet. Yeah, 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 yeah. I saw yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, yeah. Joker, don't worry about it, buddy. You already know. Hey, yo, Victor, what's up, Poppy? Everything's good? Yo, see, Biscuit, what happened? Why you broke out, dope? But anyway, thank you, man, uh, for showing up. You already know, man. Yo. Same thing with you, Vic. Same thing with Joker, man. I hope Joker becomes a steady man, cause um, yeah, I, I would like to see that dude come on, man, cause he got a lot of Joker. Hey, I'm Joker, back. if you if you hear this, Joker, like I said, my door is always open to you, man. Um, you got my number, just in case you don't got it. I'm gonna give you the number again. You ready? Nine one six four four two six nine seven five. Nine one six four four two six nine seven five. Joker, call me, man. If you ever had that little problem, like I said, my brother, um, you know, just call me, all right, man. When you feel like, you no, know, like you, like you feel like you're not yourself, call me, all right. So yeah, man. Listen, everybody out there, man. I just want to thank you once again, your boy K Solo. Want to thank everybody out there for joining me. Uh, once again, I am sorry, guys, if I'm falling asleep. It's because being honest, you know, you guys already know I don't sleep. But when God it does you, hit me, uh, what happened? I can't hear you. Joker Fish said, uh, one love, everyone. No, no, no. The, the one that's talking, uh, wherever he's at. Australia. Uh, Australia, Australia, yeah. God bless you, brother. Oh, God bless you too, my brother. God bless you, Australia, all day, baby. So, um, like I said, guys, um, you know, um, I don't sleep. So, yesterday, this morning, I, you know, say this morning, I stood up. I did not go to sleep because I usually go to sleep in the afternoon. Wake up like three or four o'clock, and it starts all over and all over. But this time, I did not go to sleep. That's why I'm a little sleepy right now. But um, yesterday, once I turn all this shit off, I'm gonna lay my ass down, turn on the fan, and just just pass out. You feel me? Um, and I just want to thank everybody out there that's been on the show. This is the K Solo Show. You already know. God bless you guys. Um, Ito, uh, one of my boys. We got Australia. No question. You guys don't gotta hang up right now. Um, and I just want to say to everybody out there, I love you guys, and you guys already know what's up. The K Solo Show. Your Ito, you guys say anything real quick? You say good night to Joy Rocks, Mo Smith, Victor. Philadelphia, especially, uh, well, I got something to say to all uh, Joker, man. I can relate to you. I know how you're feeling. I'm going through the same thing. Just keep right. coming back, man. Just keep, you know. Great you show. Yeah, if you, you need someone to talk to, you got uh, Soro's number. He goes there to you talk go. to me to it, you know, because I can relate better. There you go. There you go. There yeah. you go. All right, right back, guys. Man. All right, guys. Hold on, guys. You guys don't got to go nowhere. All right, guys. All right, yo, guys, I'm not told you the case on the show. Tomorrow, tomorrow is Monday. Tomorrow we're going to go at this is the new shit on Monday. I'm going to call it. I don't know. I'm thinking about it. it, it I'm thinking about a good fucking name. But it's going to, whatever it is, it's going to have the phenomenon. You know what I'm saying, guys? Mm -hmm. If you guys don't know the meaning of phenomenon, please look it up. Uh, so it's going to be this, but it's going to be somewhere on the phenomenon. Don't worry, everybody's going to be there. So tomorrow we're gonna to be talking about no other than is are there are there is there enough proof that this ghost out there do your family when you die or your family member die do they come back and visit you every time you get that little chill in your back especially when you're thinking about some kind of spirit or something don't you get that little chill like you know I'm, I'm here. Yeah, man, these are things that I would like to find out, man, because, you know, you know, we, we have to know, man, we have to know. Because if, if just imagine if, if everybody knows what will happen to them when they pass away, a lot of people wouldn't be scared. A lot of people would take life as, as a joke and, and they would not be able to, uh, you know, I, you know, I, I just, 
I just believe in so much shit, man, that that I say, man, they are ghosts out there, man, and they are a lot of a lot of things is very unstable. And you know, I would like to know I would like to know how how do they come here, you know? How why they don't rest, why, why, why they keep haunting people, why did they disappear all to them? Uh did they hurt them? Um, you know, like I would like to know. All right, this is your boy K Solo. I love you guys, man. Please see you tomorrow. And um, you guys already know, man. So one more thing. One more thing. Tomorrow, I'm pretty sure. Ethan, you'll be here tomorrow, right? Yeah, I'll be here tomorrow. All right, all right. I'm, I'm pretty sure my boy will be here tomorrow. Uh, uh, Jody Rocks, right? Oh, no, I'm Joey Rocks, Australia. You know what I mean? 83. Yeah. There you go. All right, guys. So, love you guys. And you already know, all right? Hey, Solo. Um, Thanks, brother. So. Much respect. Well, Australia. Yeah, you don't got to go straight. You don't got to go, baby. You don't got to go right now. This for, this for the people. Yo, one more thing. One more time. Like it's out of story. The AKA Solo Show. Let's talk about it.